hello, hello! Happy Thursday! How's everybody doing? Hey, Crossfight, Ether Bunny. Nice to see you over there, Andrew. How are you all doing? <laughs> Look at that pizza emote. Man, I want pizza. Every time I see that emote, I'm like, it's been too long since I've had pizza. <laughs> doing great. Hope you've had a great day. Uh, I've had... Hmm. I've, I've slept a lot today. I slept in again, and then I took not just an hour nap. I took, like, a nice, like, hour and a half nap before stream so i i should be i should have i should be plenty well well rested i think maybe and then other than that all i did was work <laughs> work and sleep and now i get to play games with y'all pizza pizza <laughs> ironically i don't really like little caesars all that much but i think the little caesars that was near me when i was growing up was just bad because their pizza was always like old and tasted like cardboard I always prefer more, uh, always I like Domino's. I like their garlicky, buttery crust, but that's just me, I guess. Or like a local place, but yeah, if I'm going for like main, main line, mainstream pizza, yeah. That was because my brain made me stay up and make a new channel trailer. Dang! Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Fira. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome back. Hello there. Proud of it though, it came out awesome. Did you do it in one night? Because that's freaking impressive. Congrats. That sounds awesome. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Hey, Genesis. Happy Thursday. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Andrew's doing good. Ether Bunny's needing some sleep. Make sure you get some good rest tonight. Doing good? Good. Glad you're doing good. We're playing more of The Evil Within tonight. We're doing the, the second DLC, The Consequence. And once again, I have no idea what to expect. But... Here, I'm gonna... Let me switch over, because I'm gonna show you something funny. <laughs> I was going to load up the game. You know, let me switch over. <laughs> and I noticed only, like, 8% of players have even beaten the first DLC. Only 8% of players have played the DLC for The Evil Within. What does that say? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Mag! Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences. <laughs> yep, here they are. <laughs> use an online video editor thing. Very drag and drop? Ooh, which one did you use? Started at 4 p.m.? Dang, you stayed up all night? I mean, that's still impressive. That's pretty short for a trailer. Remember this game getting shit on hard at launch? Good point. <laughs> Not surprised. It makes me kind of sad. I ended up... I, I mean, once I eventually finished the game, I guess maybe I don't have any room to talk. I got the game when it came Move. out. Moo. And I only finished it last week. <laughs> After trying, like, three times. Hey, Starbreeze! Welcome in. I wake up at like 1 p.m. I wish I could wake up at 1 p.m. The second one's very cool, though. Yeah, everybody tells me to play the second one. But I, re I refuse until I finish the first one. Apparently, I'm the only one that did. <laughs> I'm one of 8% of players that did. <laughs> I've, I've just... It's, I don't know, there's something really funny to me about that. More, more people have beaten the Dark Souls games than have even attempted to finish the Evil Within's DLC. <laughs> like, there's barely more players that have 100%ed the Dark Souls games compared to this. Like, I think it's like 6% of players that have those achievements. Like, that's... that's wild to me. And it, the DLC's not even that bad! But we haven't played the second one yet. So that's what we're gonna do. I mean, here, why don't we jump into it? I'll pause the music and we'll we'll get it loaded up. And we can make sure volume's working, right? Yeah, so I was a like five game? Where are you not? Where are you? There you are. Game. Here we go. Let's see, is this button gonna work like I want it to? 
Oh, no. Ugh, I swear, this OBS update just broke, like, half my stream deck. Like, I've had buttons that would adjust my, my volume controls, like, remotely without me having to alt-tab. Yep, they're broken. At least half my buttons still work. Sleep through the day these days? Yeah, I tend to do a lot of day napping. Well, maybe the audio's fine. Maybe it was just the, like, logos that are super loud. That would make sense for this game. Don't even know the story of all the games you played? Uh, for the, like, for the, like, all the games? Or, you mean, like, this one? Because I could try... Oh, God. The, the story for this game is actually kind of weird. I, I could summarize, like, the the main beats. Oh, like, all of them, all of them. Um, all my, all my bots for all the games that I've played are... Okay, at least that button works. Uh, are, I always upload them in my YouTube. Uh, so if anyone wants to, like, catch up with the the VODs for a game that I'm playing so they can catch up with the story, they can do that. That's about, that's honestly, like, expressly why I do that. So that everyone can, uh, can always see them. Can always catch up on the stories and stuff. Or updates for if not convenient convenience. I swear. Only 8% of players finish the DLC. Okay, let's play in the highest difficulty. God, that's, that too. <laughs> why? I don't think there's even a special achievement for the DLC for doing that. Let's see. Tell us the story to all of the games. All of them. <laughs> I don't think I could. Oh, so I was saying I was late by five minutes because, yeah, stream deck issues. Um, apparently. So before the update, I could use my stream deck to swap between my scene collections to go from, like, my, my vampire overlay to, my, like, my demon stuff. I guess you can't do that now? Because I had to, like, manually switch over before it would work. So, thanks, OBS. Things are just a little... I have to do one extra step now. I guess. And yeah, half my buttons are still broken. Damn little content. The box of quits. And then... Quack. Oh, quack! And then, uh, TITS is still not working. I think I need to update it. So I'm gonna do that after, uh, stream. Can I, I noticed it yelled at me about an update. It's probably the update that fixes the connection issue. Alright. Hopefully the volume's alright. If not, I can adjust as necessary with my headset. You don't tell us the story of every game that's ever existed and I'm subscribing. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I could do that many. We've actually beaten a lot of games on stream. Hey yo, hey yo! Hey Devolve! Happy Thursday! Anyone who I haven't already asked, how's your Thursday been? Good, I hope. Let's see. I wonder if there's a way... ...to change difficulty? <laughs> I don't think there is, like, back here. No, I think I'm just stuck here. This is fine. It's fine. We've already beaten the main game and the first DLC on survival. What's another one? What's more- what's more survival? Right? <laughs> you have eight minutes to tell all the stories? No! Panics. Runs. <laughs> Acquired archive entries from the assignment. Oh. Yes. Why- why wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, import everything. Import all the things. Yes, I would like that very much, game. Why would I not want to? Chapter 3. Illusions. Do your past secrets haunt you? Do you wish to tell them, but something holds you back? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. No! Stop! Get away from me! Stop running! <laughs> Oh, yeah, we were running from, uh, Suit Man, right? Oh. Oh, this isn't real. Is it over? There's- no. I'm back. But also, look at all the kitty plushies. She really likes cats. I like that that's, like, a really 
it's kind of subtly like woven in that she likes cats because she's never explicitly said it but we have a cat for a save point and in this delusion because it's got to be an illusion i mean chapter three illusions and like immediately in this illusion we got all these kitty plushies look at it so she must love cats i like that that's a cute and that's a cute subtle way to like characterize someone going as well as expected i feel like it's been ages since i managed to catch one of your streams has it maybe it's been like a week gotta run from the soup man <laughs> i meant like i meant soup with a t but the soup man i would also probably run from the cats are her evil within no they're the good within that's why there are save points most of the time except the plushy ones in fact, oh, I kind of, like, it's not a hot take at all. I think this DLC should have been free. <laughs> in fact, I think this game, this DLC needed to be in the base game. No, no. Where is this place? Are we in? Oh, <gasps> we're in the same hospital from the base game. Ooh. What a twist. But I bet we're not going to run into Sebastian here. But, like, seriously, like, half this- half the game you're wondering what the hell Kidman is doing. Her entire story is locked behind DLCs. But I feel like that's- they're kind of important to understanding everything. Hey, you! What's going on? Where is this place? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. <laughs> yeah, she'll never answer that. Are you kidding me? Oh, waste of time. <laughs> well, that didn't happen before. Okay, so I can go that way? Is that why you're opening that for me? A Silent Hill character? God, she she is very reminiscent of Lisa, isn't she? Including the, the red uh, head nurse outfit. Very, very similar in appearance. Functionally doesn't do anything like Lisa. I guess maybe that she is like... Points to, a, like, to being a safe point? Or like a safe area? Maybe? I guess? Yeah, Ether Bunny was referencing uh, Lisa from South. <gasps> oh, that's a lot of blood. Kitty, did you do this? Also, what's that moving? <laughs> okay, that shouldn't have scared me, but I was startled because I saw the kitty cat and I trusted this area. Kitty, why would you betray me? There's no save point here. Just nightmares. Society is wounded. People are it's the suit man. Hopeless. Just as you were. Before we saved you. Mobius can now do the same for everyone. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone's subconscious. And whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world, to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that, ushering in the next step of humanity. Great, so Mobius wants to use the STEM technology to control the world. Who'd have expected that? evil corporation wants to rule the world and they're gonna use technology Quack. that they've oh. have that Quack. boy he will enable us to change everything i'll come back with him i needn't remind you the oh, consequences us. for failure i know but if ruvik leaves with him there yep. must be some way to stop him i was saying of course you're using technology they don't fully understand that's already turned on them. Corporations never learn. It's like they know it's like no it's like they never watch Alien. It's like there you go. Just there's the blueprint for why you shouldn't do this. <laughs> that that evil plan that you've got, yeah, here's a uh, entire series telling you why it's gonna be a bad idea. You were moaning in your sleep. Here, Resident I Evil, here's an me. entire series on why you shouldn't do this bad idea. <laughs> Uh, but I guess this game is basically Resident Evil. I doubt they would have a Resident Evil in this universe. 
I feel like that'd be too confusing. Let's see, can you... Are you not broken enough for me to be able to break through? No invisible wall here. Very well. And I can't save here. Oh. Hey! I know you're out there. <laughs> Mean and bad ideas. <laughs> Do you Flash have bait. any idea why this world is the way it is? Moo. Hey. <laughs> because of cows. Hate. Moo. Rubik's hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out. Wants to get his revenge. He wants back <laughs> what he the feels the world took from him. <laughs> Blame the cat. Who's that? How does he know about Ruvik? Man, beats me. We saw that guy several times in the base game and still didn't find out who the hell he was when he died. He was just a guy. Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. I'm so glad they fixed the scrolling in the KCPD DLC. KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember her name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Then there is Rubik. He's the got a cube. From the Crimson <laughs> Rubik's <Steiner>. cube. <laughs> Something or other. He has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices and other nonsense. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. It seems that Reuben could be useful for other forms of problem solving. Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. Hmm. Oh! Is he the journalist? Oh! Again, this DLC has just answered a question that I had the entire fucking base game. Which was, who was the guy in the cell? It was the journalist that was writing the newspaper articles we were seeing. Moo. Moo. The, uh, doctor, uh, what's his face? God, I forget his name already. Uh, took him to Rubik, and Rubik stuck him in the stem, uh, like, collective Moo. consciousness. That's why he's been in the cell this whole time. Moo. Oh my god. The guy's kind of tiger purr to his voice. This game has really good voice acting in general. So that that answers like, oh my god, it took into the DLC, the second DLC, for us to get an answer to that question. Incredible. And there's Leslie. Leslie. Ah! Okay, he's not there. If I'm still here, then he must be too. I guess stands to reason, right? Why would he have gotten out? Oh, it's sunflowers. Symbolism. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> hey, bartender Jaden. How are you doing? Happy Thursday. Oh, that looks nice and bright from this from this angle. Aw. Pretty sunflowers. How are you doing? <laughs> Too bad they dragged you into this. Oh, we got to see this moment. It's pretty sussy, Ruvik. Sebastian. He must being be being sus right with now. everybody. Damn They're all mine. And then he this. sticks them all in his machine. Where are the paper? Oh, okay, camera. Thanks for pointing that out to me. Something is pulling me back there. Ooh. Pointing the Oh, PayPal headquarters for a shootout in Fortnite. What happened? I mean PayPal's kind of a garbage company too. I mean I use them, but they're still bad. But what'd they do this time? What'd they do this time? Like it's a regular basis where I see a post on uh, on Twitter about like PayPal's withholding all of my money because they decided they don't like me. <laughs> 
and they decided to take all my fucking money, and there's nothing I can do about it. While it is theoretically possible for a host to overwrite themselves on a user, the odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie, you're saying he's a compatible subject. So yes. TVs. And based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. They knew. They knew what Leslie was capable of. Oh yeah, of course. Damn, why would they hide that from me? Because they knew that you have some Quack. sort of a conscience. Whack. <laughs> Want my money, but it won't connect to my bank account. That's weird. Like, they're just rejecting it? Now it won't connect to my bank account? That's weird. Hey, PayPal's just got so many issues. Ruben, guy with the sandwich. Him and Rubik with his cube. Yeah, look, if for anyone who's not familiar, uh, or who's, who's new to the to the game, uh, Ruben and Rubik are the same person. Rubik's just the name he chose after, uh, he went kind of nuts and stuck himself into the STEM machine and into the collective unconscious or whatever. This, like, big dream of his that we're all stuck in together. Reuben and Reuben. When he became basically, like, a mental Sith Lord. <laughs> Put my bank data and it says an error has occurred. Try again later. That's weird. Yeah, maybe you should, it, maybe if you called support about that, they'd actually be able to help you. Like, that actually sounds like something they would not just, like, turn you away for. Oh. We had a STEM terminal here. On the lowest floor. The cube is a sandwich? Well, this sandwich a cube? It's a cube-shaped sandwich. It's a if stacked Lance Reuben. He's here with me. He's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. Whatever you say, Kidman. I will go with what with, with what you're saying, because I, I don't know. So there's a door there. I'm guessing the exit, because it says exit above it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a stacked Reuben. Like, it, it, you know, sandwiches are already square. You just stack a bunch on top of each other, boom. Cube. Cube shaped, cubed, cube -shaped sandwich. Sandwich cube don't need your labels. <laughs> I'ma call support and say host <laughs> Cube Witch. Yeah, exactly. The Cube Witch. The Reuben Cube Witch. That's gotta be already a thing somewhere, a stacked Reuben. This looks like it's gonna need power. I can't get through with yep. the power out. I've gotta get things running again. Yep, gotta play maintenance again. Rubicon Witch. Oh, I see that hide. No. Did you see that? Someone's moving back there. Thank you for the hydrate. How are you doing, Mez with Mask? A water attack? Hell yeah. Hydrating. Guys, we're missing the bigger picture. He makes small cube sandwiches. He calls them stackers. Oh, like instead of sliders. <laughs> that I like that. The big p big picture perspective. Oh, we can still just randomly enter cover. I wonder if we're actually gonna get a gun this time. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Here, you look like you might have been a security guard, maybe, right? No, 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 he's not. What are the chances that maybe I'll get a gun this time around? Hmm, 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 hmm. Can I get. Oh, I could get bottles out of one before. We played the base game, we know Kimmon doesn't like to shoot people. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That. That joke cuts really deep. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Shit, oh my god. It's fucking funny. Yeah, little Wiggly! 
Oh, this is gonna end, up, end badly for me, isn't it? Open, open. Oh my god. It's a good thing I have expected that or else I would have screamed. No. No. I can barely see anything in here. No. No. You take away my guns. You take away my flashlight. Chemical lights. Oh no. Nothing, I guess. Oh. And it doesn't even light up my immediate vicinity. I have to throw it. Come on, even Cry of Fear's uh, little little lights were better than this. Or do I just have infinite of them? Wait, do I have infinite of these? Why don't I just chuck them everywhere? Light up the whole place. Light it everything up. <laughs> Wait. Oh, they're temporary. Okay. Well, I was having fun for a moment. <laughs> we love light pollution. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was too good to be true. The game giveth and the game taketh away. Chemical lights, ooh, sippy sippy. No! Don't, you don't, you don't want to sip this. It would be bad. Really bad for you. Oh, oops, that... Landed right on your head, sir. Oh well. <laughs> Christ. You know what? Now I don't feel bad about throwing that on your face. Which now is just mush. I could feel the repressed pain in your voice as you laughed about that. Yes, I felt genuine pain in my soul. Well, that's a dead end. Okay. Kidman, these days. <laughs> These days have no respect for the elderly. We don't know how old that guy wa was. I don't think. You only have so many lights, and once you throw one, you don't have the last one and teleports back to you? Is that how it works, or is it on a timer? We're doing this for science. So I can have up to three out. Yeah. Okay, so I can have up to three. <laughs> we, we figured it out for science. We can have up to three thrown at a time. I provoked him first. I mean, he tried to eat my face first, technically. Before I threw him down there to begin with. Oh no, I hear things. Where's Captain Planet when you need him? What, because of all the light pollution? You're right. Am I the baddie? Oh, I see him back there. Shit, are you coming this way or are you gonna turn? Okay, he's turning. Right. I'm not in the right! He's a door greeter and you gave him the yeet? You're right. I am the baddie. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. I haven't heard that song like forever. My god. They should unionize? Yeah, all the zombie like Walmart greeters that are in here should all unionize. There must be a way to get the power back on. I mean, they're all being used by Rubik. They should all go on strike against him and work with me. The rat is right once again. <laughs> we all have skulls in our hats and we're the bad guys. <laughs> oh, that's a hole. That's a deep hole. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this way. I don't think I want to fall down the hole. At least I can continuously yeet these. And just know that they'll, like, disappear, I guess. But I can just keep yeeting them. Yeet! <laughs> the, physics, the physics on them is kind of funny, too. <laughs> they're no flashlight, but at least they're fun. In their own way. Where's that ground one coming from? Yeet! Oh, it's probably up there. That's a hole. That's a deep hole. That's what she said. <laughs> God damn it. Let 
there be light? Also, wait, why didn't I... Oh, my flashlight probably broke when it landed. Hello? It's me, sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> same. Same. Also same. Okay, I guess we're going back this way? I was hearing sounds in there, but I guess it was just ambient sounds, because I didn't see any... Well, the lights are flashing down there now. Do I have to go in the hole? Just ate so I'm not... Oh! What was that? My tummy has the rumblies that only hens can satisfy. Man, that what a classic. Carl, that kills people. Ooh. Yoink. I'm hearing noises, but I'm not seeing stuff to attack me yet. Can I go in here? <laughs> nah. <laughs> do I have... Okay, I didn't do that. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Excuse me? Pardon me? Oh, come on, Kidman. Don't you run out of stamina? Oh, my <laughs> I'm in danger! I, I'm in a, a lot of danger. Where am I going? Kidman. Crawl faster. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What the fuck do I do now? Are, oh, okay. They'll leave, maybe? Are they stuck? Are they stuck on each other? Okay. Yeah, they can't bend over. <laughs> That's right, we have the cardio of an asthmatic guppy. <laughs> yeah, we can't run for shit. Yeah, what dumb zombies. You'd think they were missing, like, half their brains. Am I even supposed to be going this way? I'm kind of just winging it. Also, I found out that I can't actually do sneak attacks because I'm using a keyboard and therefore I can't walk. <laughs> Here we go. Can you climb? Nope. <laughs> can't crawl, can't climb. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, I can't exactly do uh, like a walking unless... Is there a toggle? I should look to see if there's, like, a hold shift to walk button or something. Toggle sneak. Hold? Is it just the- is it just this? I- I guess it's just gonna be this. That's the only thing I can do. I can't walk slowly. I can only crawl at one speed. I mean, I guess that works. I guess that works. I guess this is fine. I can work with this. All right, so I think we're going... Can I pick that up? Nope. All right. Here, buddy, you need some light in the bathroom back there? There, no one wants to poop in the dark. Doesn't have basic physical skills. Dumb protects doesn't have... <laughs> I mean, she's a, she's a cop, too. I feel like she should be a little more uh, athletic. Keyword there is should. Me too, Wall. Me too. <laughs> this isn't the time to make me wait. Save. Where's the? Oh, am I standing on? <gasps> Kitty! Kitty's back. Kitty! My favorite save point. Brown. <laughs> oh. Yes. Give Kitty head pats. No wonder she's out of shape. I love this save point. You get to just sit here and pet the cat until you decide to stand up after saving. I love this cat. <laughs> Don't betray me again like last time when you disappeared and scared me. Just be, be, be a good kitty. 
The only thing they can do is eat. Yeah, zombies, all they know to do is walk and eat. And maybe eat while walking. That might be too, that might be too advanced. Advanced zombie technique, eating while walking. Can we just stay here? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll see more, more of the cat again. Reuben was quite insane. A compromise of ethics on our part. He seemed motivated, obsessed with revenge against something never specified. He discovered what he was doing in secret. Torturing. A penchant for traps. A serial killer masquerading around as a scientist. Yep. That's pretty accurate. Zero out of ten unrealistic. Cats will let you pet them maybe twice and then they're gone. Oh, well the cat's not real. We established that. The cat's like... Oh, where'd it go? Oh, was it a floor up? Oh my god, can you can't even make it up two flights of stairs? Even I can do that. Okay, it's up there. So yeah, the, the kitty cat is, uh, I guess, like a figment of our, our imagination? A part of our, our collective conscious unconsciousness that uh, is seeped into this world. Like at the beginning of this DLC where there were the little kitty plushies. So I think Kidman really likes cats and sees it as a, a point of uh, comfort. Which is cute. And it's a cute way to express that. That her safe point is a cat. I think that's really cute. It's really endearing. Because despite not knowing too much about Kidman before this DLC, that alone relatable. <laughs> Zombies are allergic to cats. Common zombie facts. I feel like I feel like that was a I think it was like undead in general didn't like cats, right? Was that the mummy? I think that was the mummy. Also I do is grab a cat and meet <laughs> zombies will come near me. Yes. Also Minecraft. Also Minecraft's uh creepers and I think it's just creepers. Don't like going near cats. Cats are protectors. Ooh, we got, we got music. Unlockables. Hey, Quinn! I must split Nagato into five chonkers so we can make six guys and make the best burglar. <laughs> you've, you've heard of five guys. Well, how about six guys? Well, five guys is famous for their fries. What would six guys be famous for? Oh, yeah, the burgers. You just said. The, the burglars. How are you doing, Quinn? Hope you're having a good Thursday. See, I would like to say something good about cats, but unfortunately, there's nothing to say. <gasps> Quack. Quack? Are you- are you a dog person? I've- I've met some pretty aggressive cats in my time, but usually they're pretty nice and chill and cute. It's just like the few, uh, really nutty cats that are like, bad apples, I guess. I don't like chihuahuas. Like, Ten, I've only I've only met one nice yeah, chihuahua in my life. <laughs> I'm sure they're a nice dog, but like I've had really bad luck with chihuahuas. Oh, we disappeared. If I find seven guys in a raccoon with onion rings, <laughs> mm, onion rings. The raccoon's just to eat with me, right? Not to like eat, eat, but like to like be my buddy, right? My companion for eating like those uh like those restaurants where they sit a, a stuffed animal with you while you eat if you're there alone <laughs> this restaurant just sits a, a raccoon with you every chihuahua i've ever met has been so sweet yeah i've only met one really sweet chihuahua and to be fair it was a puppy maybe it hadn't uh gotten all of the aggression into its bones yet <laughs> heresy yeah i love kitty cats I have strong opinions about cats stemming largely from people's inability to care for them properly. That is completely fair. Yeah, I think pets in general. Like, yeah, God, like people who, try, who like try to have fish or or guinea pigs or rabbits or any kind of rodent or ferrets or anything that Demeanor lives in a cage. Has far too aggressive and his techniques even more perverse. Da Vinci would dissect corpses to further his anatomical studies, but what Reuben has done goes beyond demanding his subjects be aware as he dissects them to truly see how the mind reacts. He's more of a butcher, 
than an artist. Me. But we must remain scientists above all. I had taught him from a young age that the end shall justify the means, but I could not have predicted things to be this extreme. Mobius has learned of his involvement due to my carelessness. I've asked they bring him on board to assist package. in development, perhaps offering him better facilities and support where we focus him and stave off his gruesome proclivities. I'm stretching. <laughs> hey, Sam. I have a really hard time with people who keep pets alive and all of the circumstances should have died. Yeah. Oh, God. It's so sad the way people mistreat animals. And in part, it's because, uh, in, in part, it's because of the products that they're being this sold at stores. Designed for me. People like you. You took my life away. Turned me into an abomination. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. I can live the life I was supposed to have. We are forgiving. We are willing to overlook your certain peculiarities for what you can provide us. But you are testing our limits. Our manpower, our resources are not here for your pathetic fantasy. Yeah, you, you know, his quirky habit of killing people and torturing them. Use it without you. And what if I say no? You think he menace can fix this? <laughs> you need me, and there's no way around it. Ruvik. No. Ruben. This was where he was doing his research with us. We were just using him. And I doubt he's the first. Sounds like you were kind of mutually using each other. Everything's looking a lot more red. Dog is my favorite size of dog, but I'm willing to settle for small bear too. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? I think I saw the message above about how dogs come in three sizes. <laughs> Large dog, small dog, and what was it, bear? Go on. I wanna- I wanna- I missed some messages. I'm scared that if I alt-tab and try to go back in, it'll crash them. This game's not the most stable. The only pet I owned was a turtle. Oh, turtles are cute, though. Not gonna lie, I would love a pet fox. Those little chonkers are such playful floofa. Yeah, but you can't ever really domest domesticate a fox. It will pee everywhere. You have to have, like, a really large encl outdoor enclosure if you have a fox. And they're actually illegal to have as a pet in a lot of states. It's a hard one because I understand how much one can love a pet, but to me they're still animals. And at a certain point, animals weren't meant to have lives extended just because we can. Yeah, I, I feel that way too. Like, when an animal's like really sick and you can tell it's suffering. And like someone's prolonging its life just because they, they know they'll miss it. Like, I, I understand, of course. Like... I would feel, like, devastated too, but I wouldn't want the animal to suffer just for my sake. But I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. Let's see. Can I request to stop this conversation? Oh, yeah, we, we can we can move on. Did you know giraffes only sleep between 10 minutes and 2 hours per day? Wait, like, total? What? Wait, wait, do they, do they like, take intermittent naps, or do they, like, just keep trucking along for like 20 out like 22 hours this game is very unstable just like me <laughs> and i'm not trusting any of these torture devices to not activate and try to kill me mm. i really wish that these would like emanate some sort of light around me it doesn't make any sense that they like barely don't Seen the marine mammal rescue Twitch stream. It's a zoom that streams their otter. I think I have seen that. It's super cute. Okay, so there's a hidden wall there. One of those freaky things over there. And I'm guessing I can't just like. Yeah, I can't open hidden doors with the little light sticks. Can I, can I chuck this at you? 
Are you dead? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yep, that sure is a door. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I control this thing to do that, but you know what? It works. The little lights just stuck on top. <laughs> I think I've seen one of those on YouTube. Adorable, one of the most relaxing streams. Yeah, I bet. That's what dolphins and whales do too. They sleep for a very short amounts of time. That's that's interesting. I did not know that. I did not know that. I learned more. We always learn interesting facts when you're around. Quack. Even by, by coincidence. Quack. Especially about animals. Me and the buddies are starting a and d where we are stand users from JoJo. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. That, that sounds like a neat idea. Oh no. Oh no! The oh, fuck? Oh great, those, those blood sprinklers are on. Fabulous. Are we being chased? Oh god, we are being chased. What happened? We're being chased! <laughs> Lowest food requirement of any mammal except a college student during exam prep. What a fucking- that's so true, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. What?! Don't have time for this. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't have time for this, I'm dead. <laughs> Great, okay, so we gotta do the, the thing again from that one room. Where we gotta- Hide from the thing. Oh god. Restoring security clearance. This may take a few moments. I don't have time for this. Just gotta not get caught. While sleeping in different corners once, and I watched the feed and play with otters once. Ready. Otters are so freaking cute. <gasps> Which way are you going? This way? That way? That way? Make up your mind! I also love animals so much. Watched so many Animal Planet as a kid. Yeah, I loved Animal Planet. Oh, what was the eyewitness, the, the little eyewitness books on animals and stuff? Or the TV show? Which I'd never caught on TV, but we would rent, uh, well not rent, we would borrow uh, VHS tapes of the episodes from the library. Oh, are you changing direction? Make up your mind! Which way are you going? Kibben's a little camera shy. Well, is this enemy supposed to represent something she's afraid of or something Ruvik's afraid of? Or is it meant to represent anything? Most of the enemies in this game have not been like representative of people, but have just been like straight up like people. Hey Demented Cake! Welcome in! How are you doing? Is the door freaking open yet? Oh my god, it is. Okay, good. We're good. Damn it. Why are you saying damn it? Why damn it? I got open. Okay, we're good. I think. I don't think this thing can crawl. Oh, it's looking for Leslie. That's right. Maybe it's something he's afraid of. That feeling when the ribs eat you. <laughs> My avatar's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. My stand is called Scary Monsters, and it can utilize a virus that turns me and others into dinosaurs. That's great. That's genius. Oh no. Oh shit, it's back. Yeah, why don't you shout a little louder so it'll hear us? <laughs> oh my god. Rip. So there's an. Uh, it's making me do this again with another door immediately after. This is fine. Oh shit, it's back. Press the button. 
No! Please enjoy this music while waiting. No! You've got to be kidding me. Fuck! Ah. I was hoping I'd have more time. I guess I gotta wait for it to get distracted in the corner somewhere before I can even open the door. It's a bold strategy, oh, Cotton. Shit. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> I'm so glad someone found that. That sound alert I just added. <laughs> hey, son. Hey, Emily. Meowdy. Let's see, are you distracted enough for me to press this? Okay, it's back there. I think we're good. Please enjoy this music while waiting. You've got to be kidding me. This is fine. Hope you're all having a great Thursday, Emily and Son. Whoa! Oh, the ball! Come on! Stay a while and listen. Hey, Cabal! How are you doing? Welcome, Raiders! Hey, Sakyum! Hey, Doodle! Cabal the hey. Raven raided my stream with four viewers. Y'all were playing Yumi Nikki, right? Hope you had fun! How's everybody doing? Hi, hi, hi! It's always news I couldn't help myself to click it. <laughs> what? what the? Oh no, this is why you should never use an elevator in emergencies. Uh, what do I do? What do I do about this? What do I do? We're playing the, the Evil Within second DLC, The Consequence. And uh, we're in danger. Is it gone? Okay, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're all right. I'm in danger! <laughs> I am in danger. <laughs> oh, you're playing Final Fantasy 12? That's 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, 12. The Zodiac Age. Yeah, that's some normal sprinklers. Yeah, this is normal. I think it's symbolic. It could be fear of being seen. Ooh, I like that explanation. I like that. That makes, that makes sense. I like that. What's making the crunchy yeah. noises? This is big brain time. Oh no, it's more of the rib thingies. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Um, fuck. I can't see. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm dead. Wait. I'm not dead. I'm somehow not dead. What happened? I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> Did a lot of cleaning and laundry and just adjusted, adjusted some cute PJ pants. Oh, that's cute. What did, they, what did the PJ pants look like? What have they what have they got on them? I've got I've got some, my I'm wearing ones right now. They've got spooky milk on them. Demented, demented cake. Thank you for demented the hundred Demented cake zero cheer at X five hundred. Not much, but less than three. That's plenty. Thank you so much. You didn't have to. I, I appreciate that so much. It's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the 500 biddies. White with a bunch of orange deer on them. That sounds adorable. That sounds so cute. And it's like, that's like orange creamsicle colors. I love orange creamsicle. Okay, I think we accidentally made this area a little easier by s accidentally killing those things and somehow living. <laughs> also, I think I might have missed uh, Cabal and Doodle's messages above. Was your stream good? Thank you so much for the raid, Cabal. Let's see. I'm not really able to alt tab because I think this game would crash if I did because it's kind of not the most stable game in the world. Although it feels like the DLC is a little, a little more stable than the base game, at least. Thank goodness for small miracles. Oh wait, are we closer to the bottom? We are. Not a problem. It was a lot of fun. Nice. I'm glad. So that means you must have finished uh, Yume Nikki and then played Final Fantasy, then, right? What do you think of Yume Nikki? Because it was your it was your first Yume Nikki, right? Yeah, I think we're going this way. 
whenever I have to do these, like, mash the spacebar things, that's a lot of eyes. That's a lot of eyes. Uh, whenever I have to mash the spacebar, because my mic is literally next to my keyboard, I try to do it as, like, quietly as possible. What have you done to Ruben? Show me! Keep your emotions out of this, Jimenez. He brought this on himself. Give me flashlight. We gave him a chance. Where is he? If you really wish to know, he's in the next room. Come, see. We've never actually seen what Rubik's bot like physical body looks like, have we? We've only ever seen his like mental projection. All right, we've got flashlight again. Finished Yumi Nikki and found it very interesting. That and having a knowledgeable friend really helped me enjoy it. Yeah! Yeah, Doodle's the expert on Yume Nikki. That must have been so much fun. <laughs> Yikes, eyes. <laughs> yeah, can can I get a shout out for Doodle as well? Because I saw you did the, the shout out. Oh, which did I do the did I do this one? Hold on. Will it work? Oh my god, it's actually fully working now. I didn't even do anything to fix it. It's just oh wait, no. I've got two of the shoutouts playing. I gotta fix that. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Jet Set Radio? Oh, that's a classic. It was really fun and chill. I hope stream is going well for you. It is! Yeah. I'm... I'm really digging this DLC, actually. Like, the first one... The first one I was, like... I was apprehensive when they took away my guns. But I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of digging the... The... What they're going for here. I think, and I, and, I, and I said this earlier, I think they should have had this be free and part of the base game. Oh, it's another one of the unlockables. How do I know what the code is? Am I just completing the blood splatter? I guess that makes sense, right? So like that, and then... Wait, why am I turning both of them? The heck? Well, that seems like a bug. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Boom. Scrap letter scrap two. I did I not miss any last time? Yeah. This big brain time. Big brain, big brain. But yeah, I think this DLC should have been like free and part of the base game, because there's too much important information that gets revealed in this that it doesn't make sense to me that they would have that they split it. It just doesn't. Oh, I see that hydrate. I see it. I almost missed it because it got bumped up a little bit. I'm drinking. Yeah, any stream with you, Doodle, is nice and fun and chill. Just so you know. I found the last time Lucid raided, they showed the clip and what she did both- <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, the, the Awa Awa. Yeah. <laughs> That was an old clip, too. That was the one from, uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Man, that was a long time ago. That was, like, a year ago now. Because I played that during October of last year. What's making... Oh. Oh, I see what I have to do. Also, that? So there's a hidden thing there. And then there's that. What does that go to? Is there a... Oh, there's more. What? What's that go to? Maybe it goes to whatever this is. This is despicable. What is this monstrosity? Despicable? Coming from the man using his own patience to Oh, is that Ruvik? Is the that his brain? The situation is amusing. But even you must realize what we can do. With Hello there. This. Hello there. Hey, Kane. Welcome in. Stay Happy Thursday. Up. We can continue the experiments. And your assistance is even more necessary than before. This well, yes, yeah, it's a, the main adventure of this machine is in a, a jar now. Or is it? Bam, bam, bam. 
Let's see. It's been a year? It has. Yeah, because I remember I played, uh, I have no mouth that I must scream, uh, during October of, t of last year. So yeah, it's been a good year. It's been a year. God, it's wild, huh? Hey, Jumbo Scorpions. My friend said on 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 stream and it sounded, and it kind of sounds like record scratching. Like record scratching. Maybe I could, he maybe I could picture that. Also, how are you doing, Scorpions? I hope you're having a great Thursday, too. And Ada Ada Uwu during that game sounds like a great contrast. <laughs> yeah, and I was, it was a batter day, too, so I was a cute bat doing that while playing, like, one of the most gruesome games. <laughs> very, very interesting contrast, indeed. Happy Thursday to all. Yeah, happy Thursday! Yeah, I don't know what... I'm supposed to do with that. Oh! Oh, it's this. This is what I need the little squares for. I see. I see. Alright, so... One, two, three... How many rows is it? It's four by four. So this is three by three. It's supposed to be read like this, I think? So that's like actually the bottom right part. So one, two, leave the corner. Are these all real? No, they are not. So that one's not. Let's see, will this save my progress if I like light some of them up and then leave? And it was like that, that. Okay, it does. It does remember. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Bam. Done. Nice, nice, nice. Big brain, big brain. Oh, that's ominous. This is fine. Ooh. Audio tape. Gimme, gimme. I saw what they have done to him, and I am appalled. To think the young boy I mentored is now this. A mass of gray matter in a glorified test tube. Could they have been planning this all along? Yeah, probably. And what have I become in all of this? An accomplice. They've managed to keep his mind alive by simulating an artificial body. His consciousness is being confined to a metal straitjacket, a gear in their infernal machine. They have even stricken his name in humanity, referring to him by an anagram, Ruvik. Oh, they a gave him that name. As if spitting on his grave. I almost felt the urge to smash the case and end it right there. But my anger was quickly replaced by scientific curiosity. Ruben's legacy will live on. I will spearhead the next step. I will create something of my own out of this tragedy. Again, another piece of info that I don't think we found out in the first, uh, in the base game. That what Rubik didn't name himself that. The first stem prototypes. It requires a physical connection from user to host. A beacon houses a newer version with a wireless transmitter. All the user hears is a high-pitched tone and they're connected. We've gotten word Jimenez is prepping for unauthorized usage. We would like the trial run to be on our terms, not his. That sound in the patrol car must have been when Jimenez activated it. Joseph, huh? Sebastian, Oscar. Oh. They were all pulled in with me. The stem and beacon. That's where it all started. There must be a way to get out of this world from there. I swear, this DLC answers so many questions that we've had, like, the whole freaking game. Oh, we're back in the bathtub chamber. Well, this is where we're supposed to be, right? Or are we just supposed to move on past this room? I thought this was the room we wanted to be in. I guess not. <laughs> it's funny. Oh. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Especially for you, kid. You're asking too many questions, ignoring your mission. 
running from responsibility, just like you always do. No, that's not true. You don't know me. That much is obvious. But we need to make sure you do what you're told. You're lying to me, hiding things. I can't trust you, not like this. You are not required to trust us. Only to obey. I'm getting some major G-Man vibes from that guy. I see Kitty. I see Kitty in the distance. Want to know what's happening in our game? Buy the DLC. Yeah, they. It should have been just in the game. They they should have just had this be like a side campaign in the base game. Like this shouldn't have been separate. The fact that only eight percent of players who played the first game have even touched this DLC is astonishing to me. Because that's like such a small fraction of players that even know what the fuck actually happened in that game. <laughs> that's wild. I was just thinking G-Man. Yeah, like, when he was just, like, the, the like, faceless uh, suit guy, I didn't get that impression, but seeing him in that scene just now, yeah. Major, major G-Man impression. <laughs> I was, oh, I was saying before I got fucking, freaking, uh, like, shook for a second there. Kitty! It's fun, it was funny seeing Cabal saying, Happy Thursday, Raven, as a raven. Raven saying hello to each other. It's cute. So cute. Now again, I want to see little teeths. <laughs> I love this cat. <laughs> okay, let's save. Kibby time. It's so cute. I can't. My heart. <laughs> All horror games should have uh, an animal, a cute animal for uh, a save point. The safety animal. Hey, Hot Rod. How's cat petting simulator going? Great. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it does. Man, I should, I should play Stray at some point, but I just... I've just been the whole time, like, crying and, like, <laughs> and squeeing over the cute kitties. People still use that word, right? Ooh. Squee? Ooh, woo. Or is that, that make me, like, an internet boomer using that word? It's like using the word glomp in 2022. Oh, we're upside down. That's normal. That's fine. Oh! Even liquids are falling upside down. It's actually really cool. Speaking of good spooky games with cats, have you heard of In Sound Mind? That sounds familiar. I don't know if I... Hold on. Where's my pen? Where's a, where's a piece of paper? I don't have one. I have a napkin. I'll write on a napkin. <laughs> In Sound Mind. There. I wrote, I wrote it down to take a look at. That so the name sounds familiar, but I don't remember it having having cats in it. But that intrigues me. Been playing and it's a rad trip. Ooh, haven't heard it in years, but that's fine. It's one of those words that like, God, it was only used like in a very brief era of the internet. I think. Yeah, we're in the upside down now, I guess. Or like the other world upside down, like a mishmash of Silent Hill and Stranger Things. I can't see a thing. I think we're still okay, we're still going down. You were assigned to your team for a reason. Castellanos, Oda, they know nothing. But they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. Hmm. Only really heard it from the MLP fandom. Really? I was in, I mean, I guess I was in the Naruto fandom. That, that was kind of around the same-ish era. <clears throat> 
So it's basically like convention slash Tumblr speak, I guess. Stuff like uh like the era of like glomps and free hugs. None of those things are a thing anymore at conventions. Silent things, stranger hills. Ooh, hey Magnadius. Did I pronounce that right? I have this game on PS4. Never did beat it though. <clears throat> yeah, th uh, this is our first time going through uh, this DLC. We beat the base game for the first time uh, the week before last, I think? Might have been the week before that, actually, because I think I took a week off. But yeah, uh, this is my first time going through the DLC. We're in part two. Did you ever go through the, the DLC? Or do you mean like you didn't go through the base game? Well, welcome in. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Angus says hi. Hey, Angus! Speaking of a year ago, we watched Lucid's Devotion of on YouTube and wow, the game still holds up and still hits really hard right in the feels. Yeah, I love Devotion. Oh, that's such Why a good game. It's got the horrific visuals. They serve the game. Devotion's well written and executed. Well worth the rewatch. Yeah, I, I love Devotion. Such a beautiful and heartbreaking game. Oh, definitely a, a, one of my top favorites. The base game? Yeah, I tried playing the base game, like, three different times. I bought the game when it came out. <laughs> and I think I only made it, like, to chapter three, maybe? The first time I tried, and then I fell off. And then the second time I tried, I made it, like, a little bit longer. I made, I think I, think I made it, like, chapter five or six. And then finally, when I started streaming it, I was finally able to beat it. <laughs> I could finally say I've beaten the first game. And I, was, I refused to play the second one until I beat it, so... Finally, I'll be able to move on to the second one with peace in mind. Peace of mind. I don't even have a PS4 to play this game. The only console I got right now is PS3. Um, I'm playing it on PC, but I also... It, it do, is a little bit of a demanding game, uh, hardware-wise. When I first tried playing it on my, uh, my old gaming laptop, man, it was a struggle. Devotion, wasn't that game banned? Moo. Moo. Hey, Addy Kiwi. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Oh, you don't have a PC. Yeah. Yeah, you would need a pretty a pretty hefty PC to be able to run this game without it chugging. It's not well optimized at all. I hope the second game's a little better. But yeah, Devotion was indeed banned. It was banned because uh, one of the posters uh, in one of the scenes... I forget where, but there was a poster that made a reference to, uh, oh, what's his name? The president of China and Winnie the Pooh that, like, one of the devs had snuck in. And yeah, that got the game banned from, like, everywhere. I think it's been removed since, but, and I think the game might? Xi, yeah, Xi Jinping. Yeah, that's the name. I forgot for a second. I'm mind blanked. How's Lily doing? Great. But I think it might be back up. Just wish my but yeah, it got removed from everywhere. She barely took maternity leave, huh? One of Crimson's finest, I suppose. She's a great cop in her own right, but we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass. Is this just... young Sebastian and this show? Like his way before I got here. Yeah. Everyone's so much younger. This was Sebastian's when Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married, let alone a child. This was before he lost them. Aww. That's so sad. He was so youthful and full of hope. But yeah, it was such a- it's, it's such a shame that Devotion got removed from, like, everywhere and basically got, like, yeah, basically banned, essentially. Because it's such a great game. Okay, so I can go that way. But what's down... Is there anything down here? Ooh, there is. Or, or is there? It doesn't seem like there actually is. Why can I come in here? Really sad that the game got banned because someone got butt hurt. Yeah, a certain powerful someone got butt hurt and got a whole game banned. Oh, it's a one-sided mirror, I see. Oh, it's another code. I don't, I don't know if I know this one. Is there a hint somewhere? 
Ah, seven to okay. Hold on, let me. My arms itchy. Meh. How's your night going? Yeah. Oh. This is big brain time. Yeah, big brain. <laughs> Imagine being insecure when so powerful, right? I swear, it's a pattern. I think. Uh, but my night, my night's going well. I did a lot of sleeping earlier. <clears throat> Had a good day at work. And now I'm getting to hang out with all of you and play cool games. <laughs> so 7 to the left, 23 to the right, and then 10. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> can't, can't cut no. This. Oh my god. Okay, so left to 7. And then 23. Wait, is that 2? Oh, I think that's 22. Hold on. Seven. Twenty. I think that's twenty-three. And then ten. There we go. Got him. Nice. Let's see. Wouldn't care if someone put me in a game as long as it's not anything too controversial. Yeah. I mean. I, I mean. I would love to be like in a game. But <laughs> I think specifically it was the fact that it was a, a Winnie Pooh reference, and when, he he tends to not like Winnie the Pooh to the point where any any of the like uh, Kingdom Hearts promotions that included pictures of Winnie the Pooh got censored in China, which is really funny to me. Imagine being such a shitter that you ban an entire character so you can't take a joke from the internet, right? The thinnest of skin. We need to talk. Going off with your conspiracy theories? I also of love Kingdom Hearts. You don't pull that in front of the captain. I'm onto something, Joseph. I don't need you hiding shit from me, too. Oh, this must be I'm after. I'm not, Sebastian. I'm trying to help. I want to help. But you need to think about this carefully. Your daughter. It was a loss. Everyone on the force felt. But your wife is... Myra left, Joseph. She left. When we needed each other the most, Myra left me. What would make her do that? I have to know. I don't care what it costs. His daughter, then his wife? One right after the other? No wonder he always seems so closed off. Well, I'm glad that she's getting this insight into his character now. Oh, it's so sad. I bet that's what the second game's about. It has to be. Like, this has to be setting up for the sequel, and that's why no one cares about this game. <laughs> because it's setting up for the game that people actually wanted, I guess. Only played the second one? I want to play the first game? I, I I love Kingdom Hearts. I highly recommend playing all of them. I think if you want to understand the entire story, you, you, you kind of have to. And not just the numbered ones, the side ones too, because Kingdom Hearts is deceptive in that even the side games are uh, very crucial to understanding what the hell's happening in the story. Played Kingdom Hearts 3 and it was okay. Not bad, but also not good. I love Kingdom Hearts 3. I cried so hard during, like, all of the final boss fights of the game. I could barely see through the tears. <laughs> so I, I I adored it, but I'm heavily invested in them, so uh, that's probably why. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is more accessible now than ever. I agree. Before, everything was spread across, like, every console under the sun. And now you can get, like, complete collections on, like, one console or even on PC now. So, absolutely. First one was pretty enjoyable, but I couldn't get past the second world in Kingdom Hearts 3 before I just stopped. What was the second world in 3? I think I liked most of the worlds in 3. Especially, like, I was surprised how much I loved the Pirates of the Caribbean world. Like, the, the open world ocean exploration was, like, actually really fun. And I normally don't like that kind of game. But I like the way Kingdom Hearts did it. Let's see, all I know about the second Evil Within is a goofy easter egg that's annoying to get to. Ooh, I wonder if I'll find it. Maybe I should try it again? I I think if uh, if you like Kingdom Hearts and uh, you're, you've played all the other games, I think giving 3 another shot is worth it. Especially if you already bought it. Trying to understand the Kingdom Hearts story is a challenge on its own. People say the story is all over the place. It's basically, it's the same as, like, having to invest a decent amount of time, uh, into understanding, like, the, the continuous story, like, the MCU, or, like, Metal Gear Solid, because, like, those are also, like, super long, complicated stories. 
I think it's just because Kingdom Hearts was, like, on every console and platform and is confusingly numbered and named that people think it's more complicated than it is or more complicated than any of those other things I mentioned. Let's see. I just realized that I'm an adult and I can eat the pie I made straight from the tin and no one can stop me. Yes, you have the power. You can eat whatever you want. No one can stop you. You can make... I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, but... She barely has any experience. Oh, we don't even know anything about her. Send her out canvassing witnesses, then. Let her see the streets. No. She's... She's coming with us. I'm going to train her. She's my responsibility. Look, I know you say it's personal, and I don't like to talk about it. But we can't have your misplaced guilt leading to rookies slowing us down. Sebastian. He and Joseph weren't supposed to be involved. It shouldn't have happened like this. Oh. Let's see, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like, you, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could make, like, a gummy worm marshmallow fluff sandwich and no one could stop you. That's ultimate power of being an adult. <laughs> Let's see. Kingdom Hearts 3 is good, but I feel like I like the old style better. Oh, like the aesthetic? I mean, that makes sense. It's definitely getting more hyper-realistic the further it goes on, especially after the Switch to Unreal. Like, the trailer... Or teaser, I guess, for Kingdom Hearts 4, like, yeah, definitely drastic difference from the previous, uh, the previous games. Definitely going more in the direction of, like, hyper-realistic, like, kind of more, like, modern Final Fantasy, I guess? Let's see, I think the gameplay of Kingdom Hearts 3 was some of the best in the series. Oh, yeah, they, I mean, they, they tend to, like... With each progressive game, they get, like, a little more solid with the combat. Is it lovely? You can eat cake until you get sick if you want to. Yeah, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't make yourself sick with cake. As yummy as cake is. Watch several summaries of the Kingdom Hearts timeline. I still can't follow it. This is crimson. This can't be real. Well, at some point, I'll stream them, and then... Yeah, everything's fucking destroyed. But I also don't think it's real now. Yes, you know where we're going. I just hope I can get there before he does. Oh, it seems like a long way. But yeah, at some point I want to stream the Kingdom Hearts games, and then we can, uh, I can explain it and we can figure it all out together, and then it hopefully won't be confusing. <laughs> Someday. Not gonna lie, say the King Heart story is a mess, but as I previously, st previously stated, it's all over the place. Yeah, and that's not even getting into the time travel stuff. <laughs> the moment I mention that Kingdom Hearts has time travel now, people are like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> this is fine. This is fine. We're fine. We're back with three fourths of an apple pie. Mmm, <gasps> apple pie. Man, now I want pie. You should. You, you, can you share? Smush some on the monitor, and I'm. I'm, 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 I'm. That that'll count. <laughs> oh. Okay. I was wondering what was. This is fine. This is fine. Most boss I had a hard time with the Kingdom Hearts 2 is the guy that goes upside down. Upside down. Is that one of the Organization 13? It's been a while since I played 2. I'm not sure if I remember every every single boss that isn't the Organization 13. Very precarious. Would love to watch them. That would be cool. Yeah. At some point. Someday. Wish I had a Keyblade. Push enemies off rooftops? Wait, it didn't seem to- Did I- would I have to have snuck up on him? Can I not just- Can I just- yeah. Can I just kick you a little- a little further? Ow! Damn! He smacked the shit out of the rest of my health! Okay, next time I'll sneak. Let's see. 
I'm a responsible adult. I can purchase a Keyblade if I damn well want to. Man, I almost want a, like, one of those fake, like, toy Keyblades in, like, a, a Christmas raffle party type thing. Oh, what was it called? There's, like, some Christmas party game called, like, Pink Elephant or something. And I almost won one. I was so close. I want a sandwich maker instead. Please look if I have a keyboard. Your part is too loud for <laughs> Keyblade. I mean, you can still wield a keyblade, I guess. Step that. Is that spoilers? Hmm. It's so hard to, like, spoil or not spoil Kingdom Hearts, because, like... I, I feel like most people won't even, like, understand the spoilers anyway, and will forget them immediately, because none of them make sense out of context. <laughs> but technically, I could still get a Keyblade. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak up to this guy this time. And... Shove! My... <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Keyblade isn't a word according to autocorrect. I mean, t technically, yeah, I guess it's not a word. One thing I have to ask, where was Sora, Riku, and Kairi's parents? Um, well, Sora's mom, you hear in the, the Japanese uh, dub, you can hear her saying, I think she says goodnight to Sora or something, or, oh no, she tells him to come to dinner, I think. So, she exists. I guess she's just still on Destiny Island. Um, and Kairi was raised by her grandmother. And I assume Riku's parents are also just on Destiny Island. So yeah, I do have the answer. <laughs> Those upside down have laser guns. Oh! Oh god, what's his name? Zigbar? I think that was Zigbar. You shoving that guy just reminds me of the Renegade choice in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can just crawl, crawl through here. Can't really spoil Kingdom Hearts unless you're talking about a specific... A specific game. Like, for example, like, I mentioned that there's time travel. But I probably shouldn't go any further in explaining, like, how that time travel works. Or, like, how it's involved, because then that's, I think, pretty spoilery. Do I still have that one axe that I picked up before? I do! I don't think I need to waste it here, though. I think I can... Just crawl away! Ooh, another axe. Oh, I can only use one! I guess I should have used this one. Oh, are you trying to get me? He's trying to grab for me. Oh, it's a shame you can't bend your knees. If Lucid's heart is black on the outside, I suspect it's strawberry colored on the inside. Mmm, strawberry. Are you suggesting that my heart is a giant chocolate covered strawberry? <laughs> That's really ironic considering I don't like chocolate. If it's a Kingdom Hearts in general, you can't really spoil anything. Back again for a little bit. Welcome back, Demented Cake. Mmm, strawberry. Yeah. Makes sense. A vampire with a ch with a chocolate strawberry heart. I hate chocolate. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I've never really been a fan of like. I guess a lot of bitter flavors. So I don't like a lot of like pickled things. I don't like chocolate. I like white chocolate because white chocolate just tastes like super rich vanilla to me. Okay, I need this guy to like stand over here again. But there's uh there's advantages to having a friend like me who doesn't like chocolate. It means if I, whenever I would get free chocolate, I give it away. So, Halloween... Oh god. I'm just gonna keep walking. I'm just gonna... Where am I going? Wait, where am I, which way am I going? Up there. Ah! Crap. Where am I walking? This way? No. Wait, am I supposed to be here? Oh, wait. Can I... No. Cherry Cordial? What's that? Is that another, like, a... Uh, like, a uh, candy thing? Cherry Cordial. Kind of like 
Is it is it like those like chocolate color covered uh like orange slices? Don't understand why white chocolate gets so much hate. I don't know. I have no idea why. Yeah, I don't know. It's the same reason why I still don't understand why people like like adamantly hate pineapple on pizza. Like I can understand like not having a preference for it, but like there are people who are like like vehemently hate it. Pickles are life. I mean, again, that just means if I'm ever like eating a burger near you and I see pickles, that means I'm gonna give them to you. <laughs> White chocolate tastes weird to me. I had someone tell me that white chocolate isn't real chocolate. It's a different kind of chocolate. It's made with cocoa butter instead of the cocoa bean. But it's still chocolate. It's just a different- it's made with a different part of the plant. Dark chocolate's the king of chocolates? Yeah, like, dark chocolate is so bitter, I can't- I, I can't. I can't do bitter flavors that very well. Coffee? That's another thing. I don't like coffee. Well, I just said that kind of with an a little bit of an accent there, didn't I? Oh, this way. This is where I'm supposed to go. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna die. <sighs> God, at least they're slow. They're slow, and I've lured them both out here. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. <laughs> I'm so glad I added that. <laughs> Coriel cherries are cherries covered with chocolate. Okay, so that's kind of what I was thinking. More truthful thing has never been spoken. Oh, something about dark chocolate and mint? Oh, I think I missed that one. Not like dark chocolate or coffee either. Like, I'll drink coffee if it's, like, got something else in it that makes it, like, super, super sweet. Like, I'll drink, like, uh... Oh god, I went out too soon. Here, maybe I can just... Oh no, you're back across the bridge. Ring around the giant pillar. Ooh. On. Just make it to the make it to the lever. <laughs> oh my god! Lower, lower, faster! Oh, oh, oh no, I'm dead. How am I not oh, dead? Game I don't know why I'm not dead. <laughs> Just back to the safety corner. Yeah, this is big brain time. But hey, the thing's lift the thing's lowered now. So I should be able to just run to it. <laughs> Love chocolate, especially dark. Mr. Coffee, the alcohol coffee. Alcohol coffee. That sounds like a weird concept. That's like mixing an upper and a downer. Love coffee and dark chocolate, but I also don't mind milk chocolate or white chocolate. Like I I've been able to tolerate, like, milk chocolate if it's, like, a little bit, like, in something and I, like, desperately want to taste whatever else it's on. Like, whenever I've gotten, like, fried ice cream, they tend to drizzle a little bit of chocolate on it and I have to eat around it. Hey, beef bowl! Alcohol coffee's weird to you. It's super common. Well, I don't really drink that much and I don't really like coffee, so I guess that's why it's a little weird to me. Small brownies I like and I should, you know, someone took a... Me a... Oh my god! Oh, I missed that message. Something about taking a bite out of one? God. I wish I could alt-tab and scroll through. Type of chocolate that was mixed with rum. Like Bailey's? Man, when Bailey's came out with their strawberry flavor... Oh, it's so good. Would have threw hands. Well, I don't agree with that. I respect your opinion. And that's... Yeah, absolutely. We can all have differing opinions on, on chocolate and stuff. You live in a shitty neighborhood? I feel for that. Love coffee, but I don't really drink much myself. Bailey's is so good. Yeah, got the strawberry Bailey's, man. I, it was, I think, it was so expensive near me. But that one bottle that I got lasted for forever. White chocolate, milk chocolate, coffee. What's your favorite candy or candy bar? Ooh, what's my favorite candy? Oh, 
the, there's like oh, what what company is it? They make like these uh like coconut uh like ball things. I think they're like I think they're one of those like Ferrero Rocher type candies, but it's like white chocolate inside of like a like wafer shell and covered in coconut, and it's so good. And I love those things. They're so yummy. That's probably my favorite. But also any gummies. I like gummies. Oh, Lifesaver gummies are my favorites. Let's see. Like my coffee, like I like my women a whole lot. <laughs> Everyone in my family thinks I'm weird for liking Baileys, except my grandma. But my grandma's the one who gave me some when I was like five? I got tricked into almost sipping vodka when I was like around that age, so that sounds about right. That sounds about right. It was also a family member. Let's see. People who hate coconut are insane. It's the best. I love coconut. Yeah, the little, they're like little coconut cream like ball things. I love them. Payday bars and dark chocolate with chili powder in them. Oh, for a candy bar, there's what there's one type of candy bar that has like pretzels in it. I like that one because they have one that's like doesn't have chocolate. It's like just like peanut butter, pretzel, and caramel. And it's yummy. And I don't remember what its name is. Yeah, Lifesaver gummies. Hard candies I can't get enough. I have to pick it would be the Tootsie Roll lollipops. I like the, the dum-dums. And I like, like, for hard candies. And those little strawberry candies with the strawberry filling. The ones in, like, uh, like your grandparents' house. And the, like, the bowl of candy. I love those things. Dad gave me whiskey. My grandma gave me Bailey's. My uncle gave me lager. <laughs> Damn. A little bit of everything. Fur Rocher balls, the coconut almond with white chocolate. Yes! Those! I love those. Those are my favorites. I love them. Uh all around age five. MM pretzels. Um, they there is an MM pretzel, I think, that doesn't have chocolate in it that I've had. Well, I think. Here's where you'll be Was it M&M? The view's pretty spectacular. Might have been Reese's pieces. Oh, I also love Reese's pieces. <laughs> Different than I'm used to. If you saw where I grew up, the past is over. You're with us now. Is this when she joined it's yours. Mobius? You'll have to take care of your own food. Clothing, okay, yeah, this is when she joined Mobius. But your bank account has more than enough to take care of that. So, that's it? What am I supposed to do? Whatever you desire. But your assignment at the Crimson City Police Department is precedent to everything. You are a police officer. And you must live as such, and act as such. I don't normally say this, but thank you. You shouldn't be thanking us. These aren't gifts we provide. You have a very specific assignment at KCPD, and all of this is in exchange for that. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just show us you can do your job. Hmm. Yeah, definitely should not have been thanking them. They were not caring about her best interests at all. Fuji do. Is that like Fuji water? Fuji do. Fuji, Fuji do. Where are you? <laughs> Why are we talking about candy? Why are we talking about candy? We kind of went all over the place and went from like. What? What, what happened? Oh, yeah, we were talking about. My heart being like a chocolate covered strawberry. And then I mentioned I didn't like chocolate. And then we kind of devolved into like talking about candy. Or evolved. We evolved to talking about candy. <gasps> a vending machine that works and gives me music? Well, I guess that's all it gives. Oh, yeah, Jolly Ranchers. I love Jolly Ranchers too. The green apple one's my favorite. What happened to the old protagonist? I have no idea what's going on in this game. So, this is taking place at the same time as the base game. Uh, so Sebastian's somewhere... somewhere else. Um, but right now we're playing one of his partners, uh, that was brought on this mission at the beginning of the first game. Uh, the beginning of the base game. Uh, Kidman. And what she was up to that whole time. Because we kept running into her throughout the game, but we didn't know what the fuck she was doing. But now we're- now we're finding out. <laughs> Let's see. They're meth for me, not my favorite. I'll eat of some oh, payday bars? I accidentally cut my tongue once eating a hard candy. That's the one thing with hard candies, is that, like, once you're, like, like, eating them for, like, a while, they start to get, like, the, like, can hard candy shards, and then it can, they can, like, cut your tongue, and, <laughs> it sucks. 
I feel like I get that happening the most whenever I eat Tootsie Pops. Which, I don't eat the chocolate part. I, I throw it out at them when I reach it. But, like, whenever I would eat them, I swear it happened the most with those. Let's see. Working vending machine in this day and age? Right? It's such a rare thing in a video game to find a working vending machine. Absolute faves of the zero bar. 100 grand. Oh, I love Jordan Almonds. It's been so long since I've had those. And malted milk balls. Man, I loved... I love when they had the strawberry whoppers. And they recently had, like, a vanilla uh, snowball uh, uh, whoppers. I freaking love those. And I eat the crap out of them. <laughs> but I miss the strawberry milkshake whoppers. Chipped a tooth on a Jolly Rancher once. Oh, that sucks. I chipped a tooth on a, on a chip. <laughs> like a tor- uh, Was it a- I think it was a Dorito. <laughs> I chipped a tooth on a Dorito once. Huh. Eat the vending machine. And I don't know if we'd be able to digest everything. No idea what any of those foods you're talking about are because I'm English. You said I shouldn't be. But I am thankful. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't brought me in. Hmm. Interesting. So that so they don't have a bunch of these candies over there? Man, that's a shame. I wonder if there's, like, an equivalent, though, that's, like, under a different name. How do you chip a tooth on a Dorito? I have I have a little bit of an overbite, so, like, my jaw came down wrong on the chip, and, yeah, it was bad. That was back in, like, that was back in middle school. But I still vividly remember it, because it happened during lunch period, and I had to go to the dentist in the middle of school. God, and that sucked. No Whoppers are just fake Maltesers? What's a Malteser? See, like, maybe that's the equivalent over there. Like, our Whoppers are your Maltesers. Zero Bars are awesome. The mark. Are Zero Bars the ones with the pretzels Looks in like them? like it might be my only way out. True, I did get to leave school early. That was one thing. Sculpture piece one. Dragon found an office made of marble. A pure speed ornamental. It didn't look like marble. Oh, okay. Oh, it's another shadow puzzle. Oh, but I think we need more. We need more. More puzzle. Whoppers are your Maltesers? <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Feels like something's gonna chase me in here. Well, seeing as how we have hiding places. Ah! I knew it. Chocolate wise, I believe in Kit Kats. Man, I wish they had more of the like uh, interesting flavored Kit Kats over here in the states. Because currently, there's like only a few, or you have to like go to a like an Asian market type place, and then you can see like all the cool Kit Kats. Because, man, I had, like, I think one of my favorites that I had was, like, a pancake flavor. It was, like, maple maple syrup and pancakes flavored Kit Kats. They were so freaking good. He's got a knife. But I've got an axe. If I can just sneak up. Yeah! Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Let's see. One time in middle school, one of my teeth just casually split in half. What? That's, that's a thing that can happen? That's fucked up. Another sculpture piece. Did you have a lion bar and arrow? I don't think I've heard of those. Arrow's delicious. I had that happen when I bit down a tortilla chip in elementary school. Man, chips are dangerous, I guess. Dang. Toffee crisps are my our top titty. Toffee crisps. I know what toffee is, but I don't know what a toffee crisp is. I assume it's just a crisp toffee. Is it, like, shaped a certain way? Oh, yeah, I used to get Japan crates. I got sick of getting constant chocolate stuff, though. I have, like, an entire box filled with chocolate <laughs> from Japan crates. I plan on just giving it away to my neighbors for Halloween.
Well, I'm not going back that way, maybe? Or am I? Wait, it didn't walk the way, I don't think. Okay, I guess we're still good. Oh, I'm missing a piece. Oh, it's probably back here still. Yeah, they get all the good Kit Kat flavors. They get all the good candies. Reminds me of how Canadian Smarties are more like M&M's. And American Smarties are chalky, sugar pill looking things. Yeah, American Smarties suck. And as someone who doesn't like chocolate, that was like majority of what was up, what I was left with on Halloween was freaking Smarties. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to go in here. Yeah, I don't think this is where I need to be. Where's the other pieces of the sculpture then? Are they also sitting on a desk? Hmm. Got to go home early was just a baby tooth, so it was fine. Oh, that's good at least. At least it was a baby tooth. I think the one that I lost was... Actually, I think I was... No, it's one of... it was one of my front teeth. One of my adult front teeth. And... I'm like trying to feel... I think it's like smoothed out over the years, so you can't even tell now. But I know. But... Yeah, I can't even feel a difference anymore. It's been so long. There was a chocolate bar with air bubbles in and throughout it. Oh, kind of like, um... Kind of like, a Three Musketeers. Because those are, like, airy and filled with bubbles too, right? Toffee crisps are like biscuit and rice crispies. Held together in toffee and covered in chocolate. Interesting. That sounds... Definitely not what I was thinking of. American Smarties are perfect for middle schoolers to snort. <laughs> I would not recommend it, though. Actually, wait. Oh, no. This is, this is all the pieces I need. Yeah, right there. Boom. Bang. Done. There we go. This is your last chance to prove yourself to us, kid. Don't let us down. Yeah, I'm definitely not betraying you, Bring betrayer. The boy to us. New stories. Want to hear a kind of funny Halloween Get story? Out of my head. Sure. I'm always down for funny Halloween stories. Mango, Sakura, peach, cheesecake. Ah, oh, yeah, they have so many good flavors. So many yummy flavors. Like so many melon flavors too, and like their melon candies are actually delicious. You've tried my zero bars before. White chocolate covered candy bar with nougat and caramel? I think I must have, yeah. I guess I just forgot. Biscuit, not like American biscuit. Yeah, biscuits are on your end are like are like oh, what are they like cookies? I'm trying to remember what biscuits are are actually over there. Yeah, our, our biscuits are like uh savory like I guess scones, yeah. Or like a uh, dinner rolls with like that are like flaky. Doesn't bother me anymore, but back then it kinda hurt. Let's see. Three Musketeers are squishy chocolate milkshake filling. Really? I thought they were airy. I mean I've never actually eaten one. I just remembered all the commercials. I guess the commercials lied to me. Cookies are a type of biscuit. Oh, now I'm now I'm confused. Forgot you were playing a game. <laughs> oh, kitty, kitty cat. Yeah, I'm also quite engrossed with this this candy conversation. But we're still trucking along. Oh, pet the kitty. Yeah, give him his little pat. Hmm. All right. Oh, I hate having to stand up and <laughs> move the cat. It's just like in real life. Let's see. What's your guys' opinion on gum? Ah, uh, depends on the gum, but I like gum. I can't chew too much of it, though, because then it hurts my jaw. As a kid, I was kind of pudgy when I went trick-or-treating with my cousins. Oh, hold on. Sebastian. And Joseph, too. 
Oh, I remember this. I remember playing this when we were Sebastian. What have I done? So Kitten was up here the whole time, huh? She could have helped. I definitely <laughs> did not casually walk into that gate when I played. <laughs> Let's see. Train my cousin. We went to this house and these only man gave me cousins to their candy. And then he looked at me and said, you're too fat to have candy tonight? What the fuck? Cousins shuffled me. I was kind of hurt by it, but I forgot in a, the next day. That guy was an asshole. Like, if, it, if anyone who's, like, giving out candy and doing that shit should just be, like, not giving out candy. They should just stay in their house and not interact with people and be mean. Just what the fuck? Or, like, people that refuse to give teenagers candy. Like, damn, they could be, like, out partying and drinking, but they're here looking for candy. Give them candy. Cookies are the chocolate chip sort. Or raisins or something like that. Also, it's the same recipe with no chocolate chips or raisins. It's still a cookie, just that style. But they're all technically biscuits. Interesting. All those are cookies to us, but they come under biscuits, which is all sorts of things. Interesting. Look, why couldn't they die that easy when I was playing? I think the Sebastian in this game is playing on normal mode. <laughs> Like, I'm okay from time- Oh, that's a lot of zombies. I don't think they can walk through there yet. Oh, the zombies get to have guns, but I don't? I see how it is, game. Unless I can take his gun. He's moving with me. Especially she's cheating and not playing in survival mode. <laughs> Man, we can take a bullet. Best gun was 80s freshen up with liquid on the inside? I don't think I've even heard of freshen up. You don't need to tell me how to shoot. <laughs> Finally, a gun. Oh, I, I, I remember Bubble Wishes. Or Double Bubble. Garbage bags full of candy. Nice. Eat the zombie? <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> Here, let's conserve ammo. Just a little bit. A little bit closer. A little bit. Yeah. Triple kill. <laughs> Bird. Alright, be good. Oh. Oh, gimme, gimme. There we go. Nice. Insta ramen choice? Oh. Hmm. Depends on my mood. I like the chicken and the shrimp ones. When it comes to, like, the packet ramen, uh, oriental flavor is yummy, pork is yummy. Full on ammo. I guess we can't really carry that much. We can only carry 17 shots. Anything that is spicy? I have a spicy noodle, uh, that I'm saving for, like, a charity stream, maybe, as, like, an incentive. Where I have to eat spicy noodles. You don't have a face! Stop! How can you even eat me? There we go. Zombie still tries to chase me, but you know what? It can't eat me. It's just doing it for the sport. Hmm, Bran? Hmm, I mean... What is that Bran? Come on. Someone that just says cup noodles on it. Is it Neeson? God. 
This gun is a lot more recoil. Oh, hi. Camera, please! What the fuck? Turn around. There. Some of y'all drop ammo, right? Yeah, give me. Give me, give me, give me. I think, I think that's all of it. It's the ramen famous pork all the way. Yeah, pork's pretty good. Like the spicy chicken. Try spicy noodles before I cry. <laughs> before I go eating. Yeah, well, the spicy noodles are uh, very spicy. Painfully spicy, even. That zombie. So no. <laughs> Smashes phone, jumps on skateboard. I understood that reference. <laughs> oh, this way. Kimmin, why are you not auto healing like usual? Is it because we're still in danger? I can't even sprint. Okay, you're gonna heal now. The music's calmed down. You all right? Okay, she's healing now. We're good. She's getting better. Does she get better faster when I stand still? She does. Okay, we'll let her heal a little bit. Should try Korean ramen brands? Ooh, if I could, if I could find some in like the store, maybe. And boom! There we go. Let's go. But yeah, I'd be curious to try some more. I should get more more adventurous with the ramen flavors I pick. Ooh. This is cool looking. This kind of reminds me of Cry of Fear. Flashbang! Shit! <gasps> I miss the pretty- the, the pretty walkway. With the floating signs. There's so well, there's ammo over there. Can I shoot the light? God. Oh, she can't because the light blinds her. She just stood there. Never mind. Kibna can't shoot while blinded. Moo. Oh, the game immediately starts with me. <laughs> Thanks, game. Immediately starts with me being spotted. Oh my god, it's right behind me! Stop! I'm not running this time. Oh, okay, we are fighting. Those are fighting words. Yeah, take that, bitch! Oh, oh. I missed. Not that time. I won't hesitate, bitch. Just need sunglasses. Honestly, yeah, that would be super useful for this fight. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Thanks, game. Did Ruvik send you? Well, I hope he gets the message. Yeah, get dunked on! <laughs> Let's see. Now to try and sleep, glad I joined you. I'm glad you joined us! Yeah, sweet dreams, get good sleep. Thanks for being here, Cake. Have a good rest of your night. Does that thing have teeth? <laughs> I think it kinda did. Underneath that sheet, I think. It had- but those legs, though? Legs for days. Yeah, have a good night. Let's see. I was looking to see if there was more ammo. I guess there was only the one? I guess it was only the one. Hopefully they don't take our gun away. Now that we've... Are you in there? Sebastian? <gasps> Are we being rescued? Kidman, it's me. I'm coming. 
I'm on my way. Are you real? My eyes. If you hadn't come along, oh, we're here. There are probably more of them around. Wait, this was when she was stuck on that on that banister. She left our ass. She's my Wait, this isn't how it went in the, that scene, is it? Is this how this scene went before? I'm sorry for putting you through this. I don't want to hurt you any more than I already have. I don't remember it going like that. Through you. I remember that. I remember her telling us he might try to stop us, stop her through him, through us. I don't remember her apologizing to us though. Yeah, he was more out a little bit there. Is that why our when we were playing as him, our memory of that scene was different? Interesting. A little hasty with that gun, kid. It's a, I, I, I've got a gun, I'm gonna use it. Doing? Finally, in this game. I have to do. No! You do what we say. You will come back with that boy, or you will disappear. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. You think you can do anything to stop this? Stop, damn it! You don't understand! Don't I'm running, I'm running! Excuses, kid. Ah, I'm running, I'm running! Well, gotta look out for the shadow hands. Life looks very different through the you eyes of really another. That is true. Leave for a little bit. We'll join back. We'll join back soon. Okie dokie. Oh, this way. I'm gonna lurk as my lovely G GF is crawling. Oh, oh, they were behind me. Oh, I should have taken a left. Fuck. It's tough to know where those shadow hands are gonna strike from. But I think I need to run and take a left this time. I'm gonna do that. Enjoy your lurk, Emily. Hope you have a lovely call. <laughs> you really right, think let's you do, this. do anything to stop this. Stop, damn it! You don't understand! We don't need your excuses, kid. <laughs> Wait! I tried running right the first time. Alright, right, right it is. Maybe I just gotta be faster about it. Alright, we're going right. <laughs> Alright, we're going right. <laughs> He's got that villain laugh down though. To stop this. Stop, damn it! You gotta go fast! Do you think villains practice their laugh, or do they just naturally have that kind of laugh? You run because you're weak. <laughs> you're afraid of us. Whoa, what, what the, the fuck? fuck is that? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, we did it this time. It's Joe and Seb. Oh, this is the bus. <gasps> one way to find out. Shit! <laughs> we just show up. What are you doing? <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> just run and immediately steal the bus. Oh wait, we have to drive now. Oh. Fuck this place. 
place. <laughs> Mood. Chapter three clear. Nice, nice, nice. I think that means there's one more left. Hey, Fleur Furry. Welcome, welcome. A hydrate, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? How's your Thursday going? Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a great night or day, if it's day where you are. Alright, next chapter. You know, with the DLC being a lot more stealth focused for the most part, it being on survival isn't nearly as bad. <laughs> like, we already didn't have a weapon, so ammo scarcity was already not an issue. Oh, are we skipping past the spider boss? I guess they don't, we don't need to fight it a second time. So this is probably going to skip us to after that? Between evil and good? <laughs> yep, it's after the spider. When we got split up again. No! 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 You could have reached for that! <laughs> I feel you, Kidman. Why, why, why wouldn't you reach this a little further? Damn it. <laughs> a ghost is born. Ooh. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> yeah, big oof. Big oof for losing our gun again. Looks like a safe. Well, back to stealth. <laughs> the world of evil within, no one uses their holsters. God, right? Like, she has one, too. Like, what? Why weren't I within your gut in the holster? <laughs> we could have avoided this. How could this happen to me? Be kept here. Okay. He's still mouthing the words, even though he's not saying anything. What the? Maybe I can burn through it. With the flashlight? Or with like actual fire? How? How do? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I actually had to, like, do something. <laughs> ah! Oh, that sounded painful. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Ether Bunny. <laughs> Wait, what was in sync? Was I in sync with, like, kid? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Lose the guns all the time, but are able to keep their flashlights and lanterns. Yeah, where is she even keeping the flashlight? That, like, she couldn't have secured the gun better. Oh, well. Oh, well. This is fine. So I don't think we knew what has happened with Kidman at all after this point. She kind of disappeared for the rest of the game. Oh, Leslie. There's Leslie. Wait, 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 wait. Both said what the fuck at the same time? <laughs> nice. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. At least they're all right. Please. Just stay out of my way. Hmm. So yeah, even by this point in the game, I still thought she was like potentially an asshole. But I guess she was she was trying to protect us by this point. Again, really glad I played this DLC. Because this gives me a much better perspective on her character. It gives me a perspective on her character. After surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Ruben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister. 
His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. Well, at least they're acknowledging it. It was already pretty sus in the base game. At least someone's saying it out loud. Yeah, the Ruben, yeah, he's got he's got issues. Really nice to listen to while I fix this abandoned ship in No Man's Sky. Oh, you're playing No Man's Sky. Hope you're having fun. That game's gotten like a lot better since it first came out, right? Oh, there's Leslie. Why does he always have to run? I was chasing after Leslie this whole game. This whole game is just chasing Leslie. That's what they should have named this game. Evil Within, too confusing. Chasing Leslie, confusing, but accurate. The fuck? Leslie Chasing Simulator, exactly. Pretty relaxing, actually, and yeah, this game has been revived from the dead, drastically improved. That's- I, th I still think that's really cool that the devs never gave up on that game, and now it's like- I, I know a lot of people that genuinely love playing it. Wait, can I walk on this? Okay, I can walk on this. I thought it was, like, gonna kill me or something. But it looks like they're keeping the door locked? Oh, no they're not. I can just leave. My stomach rumbled. Don't worry, Who's Leslie. To take control of him? I can burn that picture Maybe with I can... something. Is that ammo? Oh no, it's onions. <laughs> oh, I for a brief moment. For a brief moment I thought it was ammo. Oh, still chasing me. He is my vessel. I am oh, that was right there. Fuck. No. Oh no. Allergic to onions, it is ammo. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's a fair point. <laughs> see me, don't see me. Ah, nice. Oh no. <gasps> don't perceive me. Just hold on a little longer. Like two seconds. Ha! <laughs> nice. <laughs> it works. The... Holy shit. Oh my god. And it made them disappear. Then. <laughs> that was so lucky. Oh my god. I didn't deserve that, but I'll take it. <laughs> Hey, I can burn it. <laughs> you look like you. What? No. Wow. What? That, that's a little too harsh of a burn. God damn. Wow. I can't believe I lived through that. Here, let, we'll let you recover for a second there. She just looks like she's got a headache. Oh. I got my foot just like bumped my computer. I panicked for a second just now. Because I still haven't fixed whatever's loose inside there. I gotta uh, press in the hardware in my PC. Because if I, like, bump it too hard, it blue screens. Which is bad. And the error I get is indicative that something is probably loose. And it's probably my RAM. Oh well, I'll deal with it. Leslie! Leslie, where are you? Leslie! Where be ye? Staff only. That 
that sign can't stop me. What's there laundry machines doing in this room? This isn't a laundry room. I don't have fast my burns? I guess so. God damn. Hmm. Well, what's this code? What is what is this code? Looking for a hint somewhere. On the ceiling. I feel like they never put anything on the ceilings. <laughs> My burns, third degree. That murder, first degree. Oh. Oh, ten. So we got one number. So we gotta look for whiteboards? Or th could they just be anywhere? Oh, 17? They can be anywhere. Okay. So 10, 17... 13? Do we know what order they go in, though? Or do we just have to guess? 10... 10... Oh, wait, the colors! So, blue is 10. Okay. Blue is 10. Oh, my stomachs are growling. All the way over to 10. Okay, blue is 10. Yellow, 13. Red, 17. Yellow 13. Yellow 13. Yellow 13. And red 17. Done! Nice. Gimme, gimme. Yoink. How many pieces of that letter do we have at this point? Torn letter. Oh, I guess it's not showing the ones we got from the first half. Even though we imported them. Maybe we can see them all uh, on the main menu then. I suppose. Alright. Now where do we actually go? Where, where are we actually heading? Back out here? Was that just a brief little deviation? It appears so. Okay. Good thing we didn't miss that, then. Man, so this was, like, towards the end of the game for the base game. So we must be getting pretty close to the end of this DLC now. <sighs> More collectibles! And they're showering us with the uh, collectibles, too, which is nice. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh no. I hate dolls. Oh no. And whatever food that is. <gasps> Kitty! <gasps> Kitty! <laughs> what a blessing. Oh, you can even see the little whiskers. Oh. Oh, wait, I, I think I want to play that audio log before I save. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty, I have to get up! Hold on. I'll listen to the audio log first so we don't have to listen to it again. Yeah, that doll is looking pretty sus. Anytime I see a mannequin or a doll in a horror game, I'm immediately, immediately suspicious. I don't trust either. There we go. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Reuben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided 
seems sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? Nothing good. There's only one way to find out for welcome certain. Welcome back, Vera. But I must welcome, continue welcome these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know, lest they take this from me as well. Hmm. I see. All right, now we'll save. Now we get to pet kitty. What self-respecting spooky game wouldn't use the living doll mannequin trope? Blasphemy. And speaking of, I'm stoked to eventually get to the condemned games. You give the kitty a pet. Oh, little scratchy scratch. Oh, okay. All right, we have to get up. Quack. Oh, quack. That's not the sound a cat makes. All right. So we have to be getting close to the climax of the of the game now. I wonder if was Kitten in the final I don't think she was at the final fight. Oh god, not these things again. I don't think she was at the final bite that Sebastian final bite that oh my god, did I say final bite? Final fight that Sebastian Quack. fought. Quack. The climax. Hey Muppet, how you doing? Happy Thursday! I've got a new company that is on the list of companies whose driveway I'm shitting in someday. <laughs> Which company? I mean, you should probably do that with any company, to be fair. The Cenobite. <laughs> Cenobite of 87. <laughs> hmm. Which way am I supposed to be going? That way? I need to go through there. I think I can crouch past this one. Maybe. That's not the sound of a cat makes. It is if the duck's pretending to be a cat. I mean, I suppose. Hmm. Pro gamer move. Yeah, pro gamer move. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Oh god, that crush bottles. I'm going. <gasps> what do you mean? What do you mean, beep, beep, beep? Why? Why, 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 why? I think I need to power it on. Oh god. But how? Bought knifeless wrap tape for my vinyl wrap job. Turns out the set of the wire filament for cutting that I thought it was. Every- it wasn't every other brand uses. It was dental floss? Really shitty dental floss? What the heck? <gasps> oh no! Don't touch me! Okay, we're good. But yeah, that sucks. Really shitty dental floss. That- yeah, that's- that sucks. I'm sorry that happened. Wasted a piece of some premium vinyl. That really sucks. Mm. Are there wires I can follow? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go down there? <gasps> Where are you? So let's kick up! Move. Move. Move out of my way. Don't come toward me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh god. Why does everything have to crunch? I don't think this is where I want to be. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Actually, you know what? This is fine. They're making each other blow up. was perfect for when it exploded. Well, you know what? This is way easier. <laughs> Got <he! laughs> I just made them all explode. This is fine. Alright, now we can just walk around. <laughs> pro gamer move. The pro gamer move. Make them all explode. Hey, Saul. I see you over there. How are you doing, Saul? 
Hope you're having a good Thursday. Pro game and move. Oh, it played twice. Oh, y'all played it twice. <laughs> we played it at the same time, I think. <laughs> Hola, how are you doing? Oh, is that glowy thing what I need? This this should work. This should be this should be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the key card. That's what I need for the elevator. Okay, just mosey on back over here. Don't mind me. Okay, we're good. The usual log in the path of exile yesterday because of you playing Diablo. Ooh, did you? They added another fucking passive tree. <laughs> oh my god, the skill tree for Path of Exile is so huge. It's kind of intimidating to me. But I hope you had fun. It's for maps this time, not for character stats. A passive tree for the map? Does it like reveal certain like things on the map that it didn't before? That's interesting. There's too much game in that game. <laughs> Wait, that 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 problem where <gasps> Meg. Meg, come back. Meg. Meg, why you run away? Oh, so can we, we can go through there. That we can go through over here. It's too overwhelming. It is a little overwhelming, I think. I think that was one of the reasons why. I, well, one of the many reasons why I ended up bouncing. <laughs> Off that game. Just, just a lot of a lot of stuff. The Atlas skill tree. Like the skill tree is like, it's just so much. Hold on. I think this is where I'm supposed. I'm supposed to go. So what's over by the elevator? What's back here? What was Rat trying to show me? Meg, are you in here? Ugh! Oh, it's a snail! With hearts? Wow! What the fuck? Item acquired. A new model. Ooh! That was cute. That was a cute little Easter egg. I don't know what in, what model it unlocked, but that's cute. Basically, what what it is is that it adds modifiers wow. and shit to <laughs> wow to the maps you go through. Interesting. Man, at some point I should attempt Path of Exile again, just so I can at least get through like one character, because like there is a story, right? I feel like I should experience the story at least once all the way through. I should be back in a while, gonna get some food. Okie dokie, Kiwi! Also, let us know what food you end up getting. Let's see, am I going this way? No, we don't have the ability to step over shelves. It's easier when you're playing with someone who kind of knows the game a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, I can smash. Someone in the dumbwaiter? <laughs> Hello? A real hero. Huh? What was that about? I got an achievement for that? Was someone stuck in there and I helped them? <laughs> huh. Interesting. I wonder if it was Sebastian trapped in there. It's even more overwhelming otherwise. Yeah, it's definitely helpful to have a, a more experienced player Sherpa you through. Oh, another one of these. Oh god. More of them. Oh wait, there's more. Wait, do I have an axe? I have one axe. Oh, but there's more. I didn't mean to throw it that high! You know what? I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm just gonna go for the paintings. Because I know that destroying the paintings makes the zombies disappear. 
Oh my god, don't turn. Okay, there's one. Oh my god, why are there so many? This might have been a bad idea. Ooh, a vent. Oh, I think this is gonna take me closer to the other, the other painting. An example of notable passive in the map skill tree is your maps have a 4% chance to contain a no. metamorph encounter. Mo What's a metamorph encounter? Hey, Tave! Yeah, it's fine! It's fine. How you doing, Tave? You cannot keep me here. You're right. Here, let me send you to the fucking hell. In fact, I'm deliberately trying not to keep you here. Bye. <laughs> been all right. Lurk, been lurking for a while. Hope you've been enjoying your lurk. Hope you're having a great night. It's good to see ya. Wait, they didn't all disappear this time. Oh, because there's another one. Another one. Here, maybe I can just... <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, no. Wait, they beat me up so hard, I I think my model disappeared. <laughs> I think Kidman's model disappeared. <laughs> game over, man! It's game over! It's game over. That's right, we'll try again. And maybe this time we'll try not to grab the attention of every single zombie in this place. Since they are apparently everywhere. No, don't look at me! Go over there. Yeah, 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 go over there. Oh, I didn't attract this one though. It's too far. I created this world. Too far away. Too far away. Oh my god, no! Just another second! No, I was like ah, dang it! I was like one second away. Here, we'll go for the other one first. Oh good, she heals when she's crawling through vents. I'm venting. 1% chance to contain the abyss per 2% increased pack size. Or shit like that. Increasing monster damage and decreasing their life, or decreasing their damage and increasing their life. Interesting. Game has too much game. Yeah, there's such a thing as having a, a, a game that's a little too mechanic heavy. Wait for him to turn around. Please, turn around. Turn around. Wait a minute, there's a lock. There's a door I can lock. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. If they chase me again. Oh, how are you seeing me? You're not seeing me. That's just not fair. How did you see me? I was behind cover. Go away. I bet I can lure them into that room, though. I'm gonna go for it. Oh! So we started swinging. I'll lock myself in first so I can <laughs> look around. <laughs> I think the whole thing is to give people variety, because you don't need to interact with all the mechanics. You can just sell the pro items. Gamer move. The pro gamer move of locking the door. Oh, yeah. I mean, if it works, it works. They apparently can't break glass. Or at least not here. You just sell the items related to that mechanic to other people, let people play what they want to play kind of thing. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, Path of Exile has so many options that it's intimidating, but it, it's kind of nice that it has so many options for people. Like, the variety of builds that you can do is kind of wild. Okay, 
Okay, we're healed. But how are we gonna get out? Do we, if we hide long enough, will we give up? He doesn't look like he's giving up. Well, if I do this... If I unlock it... Okay, it just lets him in, okay. Oh lord, he running! But if I can get them all to follow me... Hey everybody! Look, it's me! Okay, there's one in here. You follow me in here. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Okay, there's two. Oh god. The only thing is, it requires me not dying. And that's the hard part when they split. It did not pay off for me that time. What happened? I died. <laughs> I think that plan would have worked if they hadn't split up. I, I kind of want to try it again, like from the outset. I created this world. <laughs> I'm in danger. I am. I am in danger. No, oh, I didn't mean to press that button. Oh my god. What? What the heck was that? I think Kidman got confused with her animations. God, they split up again! Fuck! Yeah. That's alright, we'll try again. I ended up hitting the button instead of the door. And then she, like, played, like, with the wrong animations everywhere. Okay. So I've got you. I'll grab you. And I've got you. I didn't hit the button this time. One at a time. <sighs> God. Her heel. <laughs> nice. Now I can take my sweet time. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Now I can just casually walk around and do this. And now you'll burn in it. <laughs> there we go. God, Leslie, out of the frying pan and into the flame. One more. Is this is happening to everyone's brain? I wonder how this feels. Oh, killing spree. Uh, Leslie, no. Hopefully not a killing spree. At least no Don't. Leslie. No. Oh, okay. Nice save. Nice save. I bet it feels like. Would you even it's notice right. if this is like a dream? 
Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. Yeah, Leslie's cute. I I wanna protect him. If only he would excuse me, if only he would stop running away. Not safe. Hurry! This way. Okay, at least he's like running with us instead of away from us right now. Over. Lead the way, maybe? Or am I leading the way? Am I leading? Are you leading? Okay, I'm leading. I'm, I'm sad you got drink. <laughs> Is that what the paintings are doing? They're drinking him? Doesn't come back. His essence. For your sake, Leslie. The SSR artifacting? Bonk. Wait, is there artifacting happening here? Or are you talking about in, in Path of Exile? Oh, I remember this park. Oh, I didn't look at the floor. I should have looked at the floor. Leslie can go home. And take the train all the way home. Can we play in the playground? No, Leslie. Not today. I want more no. games where we can play on playgrounds. Protect me? Yes. That's my job. Protect. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be surprised. You don't understand. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. I don't Ruvik think they care. Is a corpse. He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Uh, he yeah. patronized me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... Oh my god, so much is happening. Damn it. No. Aw, damn it. Why did the pistol like a shotgun sound? Maybe it's like a magnum. I don't think that's Leslie anymore. Also, wait, when do we get a gun back? Wait a minute. Where'd she get the gun? Game. What happened? Game, where'd she get the gun? Didn't we lose the gun earlier? Like, didn't we lose the gun at the beginning of this chapter? We haven't picked up a gun since. He does also- yeah, you're right, he does give total L vibes. You're totally right about that, yes. I agree. Oh, the floor- the shiny floor had no reflections? Oh, that- that is weird. I guess they expected, since you were, like, only walking there for a short minute, that they didn't bother. We're just bugging out. Cox pistol makes shotgun pumping sound! <laughs> Ooh. Kitty! Uh, Kitty always makes everything a little better. It was just around objects. There's a small area that doesn't have proper reflections. Interesting. I'll have to keep an eye out for, for that next time. If there's a next time. Ooh, look at the kitty. Especially noticeable around moving ones and characters. It might be because on my options, I have some of the post-processing stuff turned down. Where would it be? Graphics? Yeah, Ooh. like, I do have... Moo. Oh, wait. My shadow quality's high. Oh, because it's a DLC. So my settings got reset. 
Well, I'm kind of impressed then. This The DLC definitely runs way smoother than the base game then. So it's not my settings that are messing with the reflections. <laughs> At least I know that now. Quack. Quack. Suddenly you can't progress because the cat is comfortable. It's so small next to my foot. <laughs> it's so cute. Be safe, kitty. It's an artifact of the way the reflections are rendered. Hmm. Well, this is made in on. This was made in Unreal, right? Because, like, you, there's ways you can, like, fix that kind of... That artifacting. That's why I'm guessing it's either something they just didn't notice, or... Ah. Oh, shit. He's too far gone. I've got to stop him. Uh, yeah, probably. Holy shit. It's a thing in every game? Is it just an unreal thing? I'm like looking at the floor now. <laughs> Trying to see if I can tell. RAT Remake had it? Oh, and they make their games in, um... They, they have their own RE engine, I think. Around the character, under the arms, between the legs. It sounds like that might be, like, baked occlusions. Because usually stuff like that is baked in. Also, I love how we now have a gun miraculously in our holster, but we still don't have ammo for it. it has to do with the character including the reflection. Yeah. Yeah. This is big brain time. <laughs> big brain time. Maybe I can just run for it. Oh. I'm just gonna go for the vent. I'm venting. I'm venting. Oh no, never mind. Never mind, it's a dead end. It's just for hiding if we fuck up. Like I'm about to. <laughs> I've still got one axe on me. Oh, there's one behind me. I just kicked the trash can. This seems silly. This shouldn't take much effort. It's just the dude leaning against the door. That's just silly. Speaking of RE, did you guys hear the interview of the developers of RE7 and them saying they originally planned for RE7 to be a wow. live service game? I'm so glad that didn't happen. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I don't even want to think about what that would have been. Baked reflection maps or whatever, they aren't actual reflections. Yeah, yeah, it's baked reflections. Yeah, because dynamic reflections are, yeah, pretty tough to, to render, like, processing-wise. Which is usually why I turn them down. So really, it's just that one that's over on the other side that I gotta kill. Or maybe I need to kill both of these. Oh, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Got him. Okay, there's one. Get my another axe. Yoink. Now, where's the other one? Where'd it go? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna go for the door. Open, 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 open. Come on, this door can't be that heavy. Ah! Yeah, there we go. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I, maybe the axes like shatter on impact. Answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What could haunt you so? What could you need that only we could be the ones to fill it? Was your waste of life something you wished to return to? No. Are you not grateful for Shut what we've done for you? Shut up and get out of the way! Yeah. <sighs> 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 
reflection of the guy walking, you can see it around him, like traces from his shoulders to the floor, there's just nothing. Like a hard line. Yeah, I remember when I was trying to get... The hardest thing I ever tried doing in Unreal was I was trying to make jelly cubes, or like jello cubes that you could bounce on for a little platformer game. And man, getting having to figure out like baking reflections and stuff and getting them to be like a translucency that like made sense. Fucking impossible, I swear. And I looked everywhere trying to find like tutorials or instructions on how to do it properly. And like no one had a, like the right answer. It was basically the answer was to cheat. <laughs> to cheat and like make it look like it could be like jello cubes, but it didn't quite fit what we needed for that project. I mean, in the end, it looked like okay, but it wasn't what I wanted. Quack. Oh, quack. Why can't you just take the axe? Yeah, I, I guess, I'm guessing the axes like shatter on impact or something. That's the only explanation why they don't reuse the axes. Oh. Ooh. Hello? The patients are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? Uh, that it kills people. Now, all of this is just conjecture. But it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in Stem all along. From the beginning. Oh, he's not gonna get me. We're gonna live, damn it. Elevator. Well, now that Leslie has fully been turned into Rubik at this point, I think we're getting close to the end then. But why Leslie? What makes him special? Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Ruben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Ruben's own loss of family. Oh. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. The Mo Mobius is like, yeah, we can't just have only uh, traumatized people in this system. We need to affect everyone. They're just like, We're, that's not evil enough. The level of evil has not reached its peak yet for us. Not for our tastes as an evil corporation. Ooh. They grow impatient with our progress and demand briefings on the development process. At first stressing the results, but now they work off a timeline based on their needs. Typical bureaucrats. I've been pushing Ruben, but he's retreated further, doing his research at home and refusing to come to the lab unless it's directly working on our STEM prototype. I am feeling uneasy, and no doubt Mobius is looking on us with question. Yeah, I gotta dig deep for that evil within, I guess. Okie dokie, Fira. Have a great rest of your night. Thanks for being here. Get good rest if that's where you're going, if you're going to sleep. Let's see. Ooh, another bathtub? Another bathtub chamber? Well, Yeah, they're giving us all kinds of exposition now, too. We need someone rational. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that! No! I wanted to use the flashlight! Aw, oh, man, what the fuck? I didn't want to do that. Game. Oh, and there's no auto saves either. Like I kind of, even from that first sentence, I kind of got what they were about to talk about. Someone rational to put inside the core. Continuing their conversation from before. Damn, I wish that the flashlight focus wasn't the same button as skipping. Oh, that sucks. What is that? I 
can't tell what that bag is of. You can't go past it. Where, where do I go? Oh. Oh. This is fine. Everything's a lot more horrific. Uh, why are we re revealing this horrific version of this hospital? Oh. Now we can see what's in here. There? There we go. Ow. What the hell? Where am I now? <gasps> Wait. This is where we started in the in the face game. <gasps> this is the very first room we were in. Where Sebastian was hanging upside down. Damn. What what a flashback. It's all come full circle. Oh, another another code. Hmm. Where's the code for the for the safe? I'm like looking at the walls and stuff. Hmm. Safe code. Where be ye? Oh, Sebastian was here. Yeah, that's where he went. Except I don't think I was nearly that sneaky. I think I was uh, a lot less sneaky. Is this the code? Maybe not. Oh wait. Maybe it's back here. Smash. 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 Ha! I knew it. Okay, so it's like three up in the top. Okay, I might need to do this one section at a time, maybe. Three top. One, two, three, and two. Let's see if I can remember off the top of my head. Two, three. One, two, three. And I think... This one? There it is. Haha! <laughs> nice. Alright. Time to follow Sebastian. Look at all those chainsaws. That's a almost excessive amount of chainsaws. Ooh! So when we focus with the flashlight, we can see the memory of Sebastian running through here. Oh no. Oh no, I remember this room. But the blades aren't- oh, nope, there they are. Or are they? Maybe I can just run! I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Oh, okay. Maybe they only activated for Sebastian. Oh. One less thing for me to worry about, I guess. There's Leslie Ruvik. L Ruvik. Ruvik. Do whatever you want. You're not gonna stop me. Where are you going? Where to come from? Where to go? I 
like anything in this game is so f at least in the DLC so far has been able to hunt me in vents. So there's at least that little little feeling of comfort. Oh no, he's got a gun. Can I take it? Can I take his gun? Probably not. I see an axe. Got a shotgun. Oh my god. And an axe. But more importantly, a shotgun. And ammo. Oh man, there's a boss fight coming up, isn't there? They seem to only give me a gun when there's about to be a boss fight, and then they immediately make me lose it after. Anything in here? A bottle. Is this just an extra room for, for avoiding that guy? There's nothing else in here. Anything there? It's a big empty room with not a lot in it. Yeah, I was supposed to spend longer in here before just immediately sneaking up and killing that guy. Alright. I can apparently have to waste one shot. Do I have to? Like, can I... No, okay. They're making- they're forcing me to waste a shot. <laughs> I wanted to stomp on him. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk past. Killing spree. Syrup. <laughs> the timing. <laughs> now you doing syrup? Hope you're having a great Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Things going well, actually, yeah, with the exception of that one moment. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I'll fly in the air again. But yeah, other than that one death right there. Look! Been doing good! Hope you have been too. There. Point Blake in the face. I know they won't get up from that. Ah! You aren't allowed to have guns. Only I am. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting close to the end, I think. The music's intense. It tells me so. And they give us a gun for once. Which is kind of a miracle in this game. Heck's the point of that? Heck's the point of just going around in a circle? Ooh. Pick that up. Ooh! Oh good, they exploded on their own. <laughs> Almost done with the week. Just a small, just a wall of meetings to get through tomorrow. God, I hear ya. Yeah, I get my one, uh, the one big uh, QA sync tomorrow, and then that's like my big meeting. Oh wait, no, I have a, I have an audio QA meeting as well. So yeah, I got meetings tomorrow too. What? It's Friday. It's Friday. End of the week. Almost free. And I'm gonna sleep so much. Oh god. I said earlier, like a, like a minute ago maybe, that the vets were safe. I was wrong. The game decided to prove me wrong at the last minute. Thanks, game. Wait, how can I focus my flashlight? Does this count? This, is this counting? I can't, I can't 
can't focus my flashlight on the on the wall. Hold on. Maybe I need to be facing it more. Like that? How can I how open? If I can't open if I can't focus the flashlight. The heck? I can't shoot. I feel ya, then we're free. Yeah, exactly. We'll be free. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Wait, why can't I? Okay, there we go. I see. Okay. I see, game. I understand now. Uh-oh. Um, I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Oh, that's not a big deal. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I think there was ammo back there, but I'm apparently full on ammo. Ammo. Uh, this way? Not this way. Not this way. Bad way. Thank you. What the heck? You're not supposed to be able to climb. <laughs> this is fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. Yeah, kick me into a fucking bomb. Okay, I am kind of curious what's to the left. I don't see anything. <laughs> My curiosity's satisfied. I'm not going that direction again. Yeah, the pack tactics. Okay, we're going right. There's nothing to the left. There's nothing for us there. But this is fine. It was, in fact, not fine. Yoink. I'm uh, just gonna keep going. Climb, climb, climb! Oh god, I reload! And I know there's nothing in that room over there. I wasn't gonna get shoved into that again. Man, at least these things are just dropping shotgun shells like crazy. <gasps> no! No, let me go! Oh my god! Never mind, I'm dead! Holy shit. You've returned with tasty noms? What noms did you get? What food did you get? Ooh, nice Cabal, you won five! I think you got blown up into, into the star. <laughs> I know y'all are gonna be chasing me anyway. I should sit up. <laughs> me self posture checking because I noticed I was shrimping a little bit. Oh, I reload! <laughs> Personal space! Excuse me. Any of y'all drop ammo? No. How's it going, Lethal? Hey, Twitch boy! How you doing? It's going good. 
We're getting close to the end of this DLC, I think. And they are throwing everything at us. But at least they give us a weapon. Oh, what killed you? Here, I'll let her restore health a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Can we out? Yes! Alright. Licks finger and thumb snaps a finger and runs off my head. <laughs> what? What does that mean? What, what caused you to be on fire? Oh, the bomb? Oh, is that- Oh, I get it now. My, I, I, I get it. I understand now. Return from local pub and grill. Hello? Where the fuck are we now? What the hell is this? Local pub and grill was served something called the Brimstone. Burger that's mixed with minced habanero, spicy cheese, and bacon topped with fire roasted jalapenos. That does sound awesome. Sounds like it would burn your mouth to death, but if you're tolerant of spice, that sounds amazing. Hope Very you enjoyed it. Disappointing, kid. Such a simple mission, but still, you act out. Thankfully for us, there's always a backup plan. Uh oh. Not everything we give you is for your benefit. The infusion. What did you put in me? Uh-oh. We needed to know if one of us could survive in the system. But we're not about to risk anyone of value. You were sent to carry us in with you. So here I am. I brought them in. No. It's Rubik. He's making all of this. I don't know. Suit guy seems to be able to have some semblance of control, at least. Oh, I need flashlight. Yeah, there we go. It's the perfect spice level. That's awesome, especially from like a local pub. I bet it's delicious. Like local pub food can either be like really nasty or like the most delicious thing ever. And it sounds like you got the latter. <gasps> Let me grab ammo first. I hope this isn't our last time we get to see Kitty. Oh! Save. Save it, shmave it. Aww. Yeah, the save point's a cat. I think it's because Kidman really likes cats. Because at the beginning of this chapter, we woke up in a hospital and there were cat plushies on the couch. So I think she really likes cats. So for her save point, she manifests a kitty cat. And I love that so much. Relatable. And you you don't have to get up immediately when you exit out of the save menu. You have to choose to stand up. And it's it's so cute and I hate kicking the kitty off me. I don't like focusing on the cat with the gun. Yo, King Necros! Welcome in! How you doing? Happy Thursday. It's still Thursday for a little bit longer here. Hope you're having a good night. It's Kitty! Aww. Yeah, the red eyes and the black fur with the red bow. It's so cute. I can't get over it. <laughs> Please, roll up your sleeve. Whoa, now. That's a big... Oh, crap. I clicked because I noticed that I was scrolling on OBS. Indoctrination, there's this one. There we go. Please, I fixed it. Roll up your sleeve. Whoa now. That's a big syringe. That's Don't a think big you're syringe. That thing in me. Miss Kidman, you agree to this. Don't forget that. Nothing we're doing is malicious. It's only proper protocol. You know what's proper protocol? Telling the person getting the fucking shot where the hell she is and what's the fucking point. Ow! Damn it! That hurt. Hey guys, what the fuck? Is anyone there? You give me a shot. 
shot, and then just let this weird video play on repeat? Some great fucking medical science you've got going on in here. <laughs> This DLC is really endeared me to Kidman. I didn't really care for her character right, at all in the, the ba in the base game. Not right now, Miss Kidman. How are you feeling? Any headaches? Nosebleeds, perhaps? What? No. But I do feel a little floaty. Almost like I'm underwater. That's consistent with the effects of the compound. We just have one last part of this test to partake in. Then you will be free to go. Sure. Go for it, I guess. Good. I will now ask you a series of questions. You will answer them while watching the images in front of you. You will not look away from the screen. What? Do you understand? Benji! Question number one. Greetings. Stay a while and listen. Welcome, Raiders! It's Benji raided my stream with nine viewers. Welcome, Raiders! Hello, hello! Let me see if I can get the... Bam. There we go. Oh, you're playing more Splatoon! Welcome, Raiders! Hi, Malibin! Or... Malibin? Mal... Mali... Mal... Malibin? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Let me know how to pronounce your name. And Mala, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Ayo! <laughs> Finally get to return the raid favor your way. Aww. That's so sweet, Benji. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had lots of fun with Splatoon. Malavan is now following. Malavan? Is that how you pronounce it? Literally same. Mal is fine. Mal is fine? Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We're at the... I think we're getting towards the end of the, the second DLC for The Evil Within called The Consequence. And you're, you're at a very good point. Because look, this is our save point. This has been our save point throughout the game. It's a kitty! Here, let me let me sit on the couch so y'all can see co the cute little kitty. This is a horror game, by the way. <laughs> Scary, spooky horror game with the cutest save point in the world. I saw the cat and cried. Me too. Every time we see the kitty, I have I cry. It's so cute. It's so sweet. And we get to sit here as long as we want until we stand up. Just you can just pet the kitty. <laughs> Look at it. So yeah, I'm actually really liking the DLC for this game. <laughs> Best horror game ever, 11 out of 10, purely because of the save point. <laughs> but yeah, Benji, if you ever decide to go back and play the first game, play the DLC. I guarantee you, it explains so much. Plus kitty save point. How can you go wrong with that? <laughs> But hello, Raiders! Anyone who doesn't know me, um, I'm Lucidity. I'm a vampire. Currently, I'm in my demon form, though, for Thursdays when I play spooky games. And, uh, I'm a variety streamer, so not just horror games. I play a little bit of everything. Except next month. For October, we're gonna do all spooky. Make me want to honestly, but I ended up playing two, and it re-explains a lot, to a ton, too. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious how much of this game to explains because there's a lot that happens in this game and like so many questions were not answered until i played the dlc like especially about like kidman like the base game i knew nothing about her and I, I didn't even like her that much but the dlc is all about her and her perspective from the first game and i like her now <laughs> two explains almost everything in the first 10 minutes there's no way you could sum up, like, the big picture, but there's so much about the characters that I- there's no way. Nicole Kidman! <laughs> what is- what is her first name? I forget. Everyone just calls her Kidman, because she's a, a cop, so everyone calls each other by their last names. Kidman is a badass in 2 too, by the way. Oh, I'm glad she comes back. It would be such a waste to, like, develop her character so much in the DLC. To just, like, not do anything with her, so I'm glad. That gives me something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Hi, kitty. Also, in the DLC, you get, like, no weapons for most of it until, like, the very end. So we finally, after all this time, got a shotgun. And... You gave yourself to us. Oh, you no. You made the choice of your own free will. We were the only ones who cared. The ones who took you from your useless life. 
So we're, we're fighting right now against an evil corporate suit, you know, as you do. Who will have you? Why would you abandon the cause? Who are you trying to save? A world that didn't care about you in the first place. But in this case, the dude with the suit is able to control the hell world of Rubik's mind. Which is, you know, great for us. Love that for us. Oh, I think we're, yeah, I think we're near the end. Because we're back at Beacon. But yeah, I hope you had a great stream, Venji. How was Splatoon? Did you win? Were you winning, son? This ends here? Okay, even, Kid even Kidman's saying that this is the end now. I wasn't sure before, but now. Ooh. Audio log. Coming for me. Also, Venji, how. they fixed the scrolling in the DLC. They even know about <laughs> Leslie. There's no use hiding this anymore. I'll enter the system and my return will be proof that Thank all God, of right? Worth it. I don't know I why they didn't fix it in the base them, game, but at least it works here. It was for their goals. There are just the final tweaks left. Once I finish, I will put Leslie in the stem with myself and activate it. The wireless signal should ring out in the near distance. I can't speak for those unfortunate to be around, but like I always said, the ends oh. can justify the means. Finally, Mobius will see that I am one of their chosen ones. Reuben is but a ghost. I am their savior. So this... Their plan is nothing without me. That's what led up to the beginning of the base game. Was, uh, the doctor was like... he He's the one that set the experiment in motion with himself and Leslie. That's what started all this. So much fun, love Shiver also. Just hit big 700 followers, let's go! Congrats, that's awesome. Congrats, Benji. Man, you're oh, you're, you're getting closer and closer to 1,000, that is nuts. Man, when are you gonna hit partner, dude? <laughs> it's only a matter of time at this point. Congrats, congrats, that's awesome. I was totally expecting something to attack me there. I think because it's something attacks you if you're Sebastian. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What do I do? What do I do? I can't see. There's another one behind me. Open, open, I don't want to waste another shot. I'm in danger. <gasps> I'm out of danger, I think. I think. Hitting harder to finally officially make a, a stream group would mean everything to me, honestly. You yeah, I know, that's, that's why I said that. Because I know that's like a huge goal. Is it out of fear? Fear is such a subtle thing. And slowly but surely, you're gonna get there, but I know it. Experiences true fear it's a marathon, not a sprint. That's why I always tell myself, too. They can be molded. Stem is an abortion. A machine designed on the premise of fear. But in a sense, it is perfect for what we hope to achieve. Is he getting closer? You will be the first. You will bow under this fear. Are you alive? Yes! He's getting closer! You will serve as an example for what we will become. Oh shit, that's us. Oh, and there's Leslie. Leslie, wait! Don't go in there! Damn it, Leslie! Can you not run away for two seconds? This Quack. is me. I'm connected. Just like everyone else. Yep. I'm getting out of here. So there's us, there's Joe. So where's Sebastian? There's Sebastian. Who the hell's this? Who the hell are you? You're not Sebastian. Who the fuck are you? Oh, there he is. I don't know who that random cop is.
Oh, you can hear his heart beating. Oh, that's creepy. Let's see. Moo. Moo. Benji's gonna hit it. The question is decidedly when, not if. Exactly. It's just a matter of when. So this is gonna hit it too. Ah, someday, maybe. But like I like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I try not to think too much about the the like the destination, more about the journey. Just enjoy enjoying things as I go. Gonna pop off the both of us. Both of us, I know you will too, punk. <laughs> oh shit! What? Well, that was a sudden cut to a cutscene. But yeah, I know, I know, both of us will someday. Oh no, I remember this. Get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. See, I didn't know what the context for that line was before. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, so that's, that's enough reason for me not Joseph? to trust you. You're a good man. Back in the playground? I that's totally missed that the I... first time around. Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that... It... All scadios. Oh, yep. Here we go. So we, I don't know where Kidman was during this final fight. I guess we're about to find out. Leslie, stop! Smush. Leslie! Yep, poor Leslie became juice. He became brain juice. Poor Leslie. Oh. The fuck? Yeah, he got drinks. Slurp right up. You failed. We gave you an order and you failed. No. None of this is real. You aren't real. You You're not real. You can't hurt me. That, but I'm right here. I've been with you this whole time. This world is a nightmare. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. Yeah, that we're gonna kick his ass. How little you understand. You should be very afraid. We have you, kid. And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. Oh shit, this is our final boss. You fulfilled what little use you have. This world is a prison for you to run in. Fuck you. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here. Hell yeah. Yep. No, hold on, I got reload. <laughs> this is a single shot shotgun. Nothing that high explosives won't solve. Exactly. Oh. Hold on. I have a feeling I'm just wasting ammo. There's another mechanic to this. Oh, holy shit! Is that a one shot kill? Can I. Okay, I can kick away. Oh, it's ammo! If I want ammo... I see. I understand. No! No! Ah, the reloading takes so long! Discovery is so late, I have no idea what's going on in this game. To be fair, this game's story is very complicated. But basically, we're in the mind of this dude who wants- ah! What the fuck? Did he, did he teleport me? What the fuck just happened? No! My stamina! 
Kibben. Kibben, please. Okay, thank you. But he basically we're in the mind of this guy that wants to unite everyone's consciousness conscious consciousnesses. There, I think I did it. <laughs> um, so that he can be reunited with his sister. Ugh! Hold on, gotta reload. There we go. That did something. What does this world look like to you? Like your grave. But yeah, and we got sucked into that guy's brain, the collective unconscious, the, called the uh, damn it. Uh, the stem system. And he was trying to use that kid, uh, Leslie. To basically, like, power his system further. Oh my god, reload! Dang it! It seems like when he's, like, trying to grab me, that's when I can shoot him. And, like, actually do damage. Because he, like, physically manifests here, I think, a little bit more. Y'all just gonna take your time walking toward me? Yeah, like that. Boom. Tell me, kid, what do you see? Ooh. Ah. <laughs> God, my health is low. I don't know if I can afford to stand still long enough for her to regain some health, though. They do walk pretty slow. We gain a little bit. A little bit. Oh! Wait, did I get him? Is that it? Did I do it? Did I win? Oh, it's not over yet. Why is the double barrel shotgun so popular? Get the gun as two triggers letting you fire both barrels. Why not have a shotgun with the flip? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? It's so fast. <laughs> oh my god, that's so freaky. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Honestly, really don't know what to do. I don't have any ammo. The f <laughs> what was that? You've always been a fool. What? I'm dead. <laughs> what was that spinning that happened? <laughs> oh my god. You'll see You've that weird like it was like we were we were waltzing for a second there. Oh god. Oh, ammo. <laughs> oh, I missed. Fuck. Oh my god, where am I going? You're a fool to try and fight this kidman. Am I supposed to kill them or am I running away? <laughs> You're going to die, kid. Oh my god. More ammo. I think I must have to kill them. They're giving me all this ammo. Be progress without sacrifice. <laughs> Where did he go? 
Or is this just an opportunity for me to get ammo and then I go run after him? Alright, let's go. That way you should use the DP-12 when you want to save fucking simple times without reloading. Oh, this looks so cool though. Hey Cyber Shinobi, how are you doing? You're just in time for the final boss fight. Hope you're having a good night. Burritos and wings. Mm. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Okay. You think you can run? Oh! But you're ours. I shoot the hand? Yes. Ah! Excuse? Ah! Oh my god! How do I avoid that? Very dead. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, the bullpup. <laughs> yeah, this game's filled with a lot of them in the spaces. Wait, ah! Animal Crossing? Nice. Okay, it slams wherever I was standing. I understand. I understand now. I have. I've acquired greater understanding of this fight. Oh! That was a lot qua quacker, quicker than I was expecting. Quacker. <laughs> yeah, get fucked. Did I get him? Is it over? Oh, greetings, stranger. <gasps> Vluna underscore Vluna! is now following. Thank you for the follow. <gasps> we get to see Kitty one last time. Pro gamer move. Pro gamer move. The G men's dead. <laughs> GG. Dead space death animations. Oh, yeah! Yeah, they, you also got chopped up into little bits and pieces, too. Oh, we gotta walk. We did it! Yeah, he cut my life into pieces. It was his last resort. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Thank God for invisible walls, you would've fallen into the void. Yeah. Hope you're having fun with Animal Crossing, by the way. You don't know anything. You don't know me. I'm strong. Really does look like the G-Man. Also, this is our first time seeing his actual face, like lit. I have to choose to shoot him. What if I don't? What if I don't? Oh, she just does. Are you sure? Never mind. <laughs> yourself. Sure enough to face. <laughs> she just does it for me. Of your actions. <gasps> Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Leslie! How the hell? At least he's alive. And hopefully still not Ruvikified. Oh, was that extra cop? Was he the suit guy? No. No, I don't know who the hell that was. Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. Oh, How long no. has it been? 37 minutes since the first pulse. It's only been 40 minutes? How did we get here? 
this whole game takes place in 40 minutes. Uh, Eat the lab. I need to get my head straight. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get drank after all. We need you back here. All right. But we've got word he wants a debriefing as soon as you get back. That's Myra. Myra. That's Sebastian's wife. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. She's right there. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. I <laughs> no need to fuck. Was she trying to wake him up? They were right. I failed. But they didn't count on you. I owe you one. Welcome back to the real world, Sebastian. <gasps> she woke us I up. I you find what you're looking for. Yeah, she's right across the room over there. <laughs> Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. Oh. No one is. Okay, I'm hyped for two now. No pun intended, but this is actual little mindfuck. Yes, that perfectly describes this game. Why were there two of him? No, there was only the one. There was only the one real Sebastian sitting in the tub. GG! Oh my god! I was not expecting that twist at the end. His wife put him in there. Right? Oh my god. The opposite of how dreams work. Eight hours IRL for 40 minutes of dreams. God. That's... Ah. Oh, two is so good. I'm, I'm hyped. <laughs> the DLC, I think, made, made my opinion of this game increase dramatically. Which is why I really wish that it had been just, like, patched with the OG game. It shouldn't have been DLC. This is, like, crucial, I think. <laughs> now I'm now invested. <laughs> there was one getting up and another in the tub next to his. Yeah, there was like some random cop, and there was Joe, and there was Sebastian, Kidman, uh, Jimenez, and Leslie. Leslie, they got up. I think maybe that cop also stood up. Can't wait to see you play two. Yeah, I'm hyped. I'm not. I'm gonna play another game between this one and, and two though. Should I worry about DMCA? Hmm. Down a little bit. But hopefully I don't have to worry about DMCA. Oh well. Also, the gradual jump into compared to this is also incredible. Yeah, it'll. I mean, it was how many years between one and two? It was a decent amount. What will you be playing? I'm not sure yet. We might go back to Fear Two. I also might pull for it. We still have one more DLC to go through though. There's one more where we get to play as a keeper, which is like the, the pyramid head like safe dudes. The last DLC we get to play is one. But I think that's relatively short. But we'll see next time. I'll have like a another backup game I think in mind. <laughs> Eat the DMCA. <laughs> Three year time gap between release dates? Maybe three years is a decent amount of time. They must have started working on the sequel like immediately after they finished this one. Or at least after they finished the DLC, I bet. The DLC where you can play as an enemy and stop titty? Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm interested in what they end up doing with that. Because I have no idea how, how, how it will relate to like the story. It might just be like a fun little side thing. I'm just now realize your ear curl ears curl as you bounce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my little ears, my, my ears curl. <laughs> Too super fun because it's also like semi open world. Uh, but it works. Oh, um, well, I'll trust you. I normally don't do well with open world, but. Semi open world. Which, when did Silent Hope down for come out? Because that was also semi open world. Oh. 
But yeah, I am glad I finally finished this game. It's definitely got some countless issues, but I also played on like the hardest starting difficulty you can do, which is survival. So <laughs> the open world. <laughs> but I think playing it on the harder difficulty, I think just increased the tension a lot. Like I was like just that was scared for my life a few times. <laughs> multiple times <laughs> but I enjoyed my time I'm excited to see what they ended up doing with two if that's when everyone is raving about man people really didn't play this DLC I'm curious to see the percent of people that played the second DLC if the first one was 8% yeah Benji only 8% of players who played the first evil within finished the first DLC <laughs> 8% so I wonder what percentage finished the second one. <laughs> it can't be much worse, right? Yeah, Benji rated. Who's for fun? Congrats on finishing this phase. Thank you. Thank you so much. Game over, man. It's game over. The game is over. You're right. Honestly, I believe that. Most people didn't even finish the main game. Yeah. We should look through the achievements real quick just to see, like, I want to see what the percentage was of people that beat the first game. Like, how many people didn't bother buying the DLC? It's such a shame, too. That means only 8% of players got to got to play through and understand Kidman's uh, character. Like, that's kind of sad. Like, they worked hard on this. It's kind of their fault, though. They really should have packaged it with the base game. Never actually played this game? I mean, it took me how many years to finally play this all the way through? <laughs> Because it came out in like 25th, 14? I think it came out in 2014. God. Did it really? That's like. That's almost a decade. Oh god, I hate thinking about time. <laughs> but yeah, I think this game is worth playing. I think it's worth playing through at least once before playing the second one. I, I don't believe in skipping games. I think this is a, I think this is a valuable game to play through. Not big on horror games that aren't scary. I'd say this one is definitely a lot more action-y, but the tension definitely makes it scary as fuck. And the visuals and the monster designs are so good. Sadly, it was the nature of the beast back then, and even now. Yeah. This game also has got such a bad reputation, too, because everyone saw Shinji Mikami made it, and when he, it started getting action -y near the end, people were so burned out by how they actionified Resident Evil, people got bummed out. Oh. Yeah, I, re I recognize the name. OG Resident Evil creator. Yeah, this game feels very Resident Evil E. Absolutely. Maybe some Silent Hill and Little Nightmares. I love Silent Hill. I still haven't played Little Nightmares, though. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that'll be an option for October. Hmm. Maybe. But I love Silent Hill. Man, the rumors the past, like, couple weeks about, like, a new Silent Hill, uh, tease or preview or something like we know they're working on something it's just waiting for them to announce it finally little nightmares is top titty horror <laughs> and I'm, I'm excited to play little nightmares i've watched like little bits and pieces here and there but not enough to like for me to know anything that happens in the actual story early 2010 to 2015 was a dark time for horror games yeah i don't even remember how many like I don't know, maybe Outlast? What games did come out in that era? New Game Plus. Yay! I'm probably not gonna do it, though. <laughs> and then I've unlocked Kurayami mode. Not bad! It's about three hours for each of the DLCs, so it's like six hours total. That's not bad. Chapter 4? Clear. I died less than 20 times. That's not bad, right? Maybe? We did it, though. We did it! Think for October, I'm gonna do all the Fatal Frames myself. I've been think, Especially with the, the one that's being localized now uh, over here in the US. I'm... I'm excited about that. I really need to play through all the Fatal Frames. You had Amnesia Dark Descent, but then you just had a bunch of knockoff copies. Yeah. That's right. That was the Amnesia era. That's right. I remember. Let's see. We unlocked, like, something in the model viewer. We found this cute little snail in an elevator. 
This one? <laughs> what an image. Sebastian and Joseph, young. Partners for many years, Joseph had always been there to tone down Sebastian's bad cop attitude. Joseph was there to support Sebastian through his personal tragedy, and since then they've always taken on cases as a pair. So he was the good cop, bad cop kind of thing. Man, this is a shame that Joe, I think he did die. And I think Kidman did accidentally kill him. Rip in peace. If only we knew ye a little better than that guy that was continuously threatening to morb and kill us the whole time. I'm so hyped for the- for the- We? We fourth game localization so mad it took this long? Yeah, I, I think I remember when that game came out too. And then people were like, when is it gonna come over here? The jiggle physics on the time? It's just me or does this look more like a disagreement between devs? Oh, it totally does. <laughs> well, Alright, I think... We probably shouldn't play this sound. Oh, wait. We missed one. Oh, we missed one. Let's see. There was one other thing, right? The torn note. Oh, I don't think we finished it, though. Oh, that's probably why. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll probably look up what that was. But I guess we're I guess we're done for now. I guess we're done for now. Dang, that time the timing's perfect though for these uh, for these DLCs. Like three-ish hours exactly. Oh, is my stream deck decided to not work? Yeah, Venji, after the OBS update, my stream deck just decides to work and not work randomly. It's kind of... Okay, here we go. It's working. There we go. Exit game. I'll put the music on. There we go. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the stream. No problem. Let's see who we can raid. Ba -ba -ba. Putting my browser over here. I'm back with streams almost done. Yeah, we literally we just ended. Let's see. Who? But welcome back, though. You can stick around for... Uh, we're about to figure out someone to raid. OBS 27 still fucking up when I download 28. It's like, merge some of 28's files into my 27 directory. Yeah, like, it's... I don't know. I don't know why OBS had to be so weird with its update. Like, before, my stream deck uh, could, like, switch between scene collections, but now it seems I can't, which kind of sucks. Let's see. Let's do a poll. Poll, poll, poll. Start poll. Finish poll. New poll. Great. Let's see, what options we got tonight? We've got... Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, we've got Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Uh, I'll just put Ocarina of Time, because I won't be able to fit the whole title. Or I could put Zelda. Zelda, Ocarina of Time. There. <laughs> yeah, that's big stinky, yeah. But hopefully they'll update and fix things more. Can't go wrong with Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I still haven't... I still haven't played it. I played more Majora's Mask, but I still didn't finish that either. Because I only... Uh, I played on a, a friend's... Uh, I think I played on Pink's... We... You... We want one of those. Love how one of your info panels now is 100% Soul Games completions <laughs> and Hades. I, it's my it's my badge to show you don't need to backseat me for those games. <laughs> it's like anyone tries to backseat me, I'll be like, um, look look below there, huh? Um, I I already know how to play. Clearly. You know what? I think we're just gonna do. I think we're just gonna do offering a time maybe. Um. You know what? Yeah. It's been a while since I've raided this person and they're cool. And I wanna- I wanna share the love. Hot Take 64, Legend of Zelda isn't the best? I mean, I- I can't fight you on that because I haven't played the- <laughs> Someone else will have to flame you. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Jedi Knight on Saturday Batter Day. This- I'm- I'm excited for that too. Flash raid. We're raiding Octaco Pie. We're raiding Octa. There we go. Raid is initiated. But yeah, I'll see you all on Saturday for, for Jedi Knight. I'm 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 stoked. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get it working, but I think I know what to do. I think I found the right uh, patches to get it working. Thanks for stream, no problem. Thank you everybody for being here. I had so much fun. And 
yeah, I, I recommend not skipping Evil Within 1. If you're desperate to get to 2, I think 1 is still fun and important. But yeah, have a great rest of your night or day, everybody. Stay hydrated, stay safe. And yeah, I'll be back on Saturday for Jedi Night. And then we have a watch party on Discord. Where's the thingy? There we go. We have a watch party on Discord for... We're watching The Net. Uh, 1995 uh, thriller. <laughs> I won't spoil more than that if anyone hasn't seen it. It's kind of old. But have a great rest of your night or day, everybody. And yeah, give all the love to Octa. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Ourselves that don't